50,000 families have trusted Wesley Financial Group to help them out of financial hardship by getting them out of bad timeshares. Get the facts about how the timeshare industry works and your options for cancellation. Simply call Wesley now for your free timeshare exit kit and see how you can become timeshare free. Call 800-462-3333. That's 800-462-3333. Once again, 800-462-3333. Start your fitness journey with no long-term contracts in month-to-month memberships at Fort Sanders Health and Fitness Center. Fires the ball down the middle. It's time to kick off three hours of fair and honest discussions that go beyond the headlines of today's sports news. And for the Tennessee touchdown. From the Budweiser studios of 99.1, the sports animal. Here are a couple of guys with over 30 years of combined knowledge of Tennessee sports. Here's Josh and Swain. Josh and Swain, thank you for being with us today. We are very excited to be with you for the next three hours. It's a beautiful day here in East Tennessee. We have a lot to cover. We will talk Tennessee football. We'll talk college football, maybe some pro football, definitely some portal, because how can you talk college sports without the transfer portal entering the conversation in some way? We will cover that. We will talk to Austin Price uh, VolQuest to wrap up the spring cover a little recruiting Braden Gall of 440 sports later in the show VFL and former Tennessee wide receiver Jason Swain will be here all the way through so will I Joel Silverberg producing for us today and we invite you to join us along the way you can call or text in at 865-656-9900 Swain good afternoon how are you wonderful man it's a great day it is a great day a great day to have a great day that's a plan halfway finished so let's make the second half a great one you said we're talking football? Do you want to? I love football. Okay. Who doesn't love football? Personally, I like football. I've liked it for it's a, great sport. a lot of my life. Yeah, it's an awesome sport. Mm-hmm. It's a favorite. It's America's favorite, favorite sport. 100%. American football is America's favorite sport. Yeah, I think that's right. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it's right. <laughs> it's right. You look at... Look at the numbers, look at the viewership, look at the, the stadiums in certain mm-hmm. parts of the country. It's it's right. We love football, man. Got the NFL draft. That is a event in itself. Yes, it is. You have Combine. That's an event to watch players work out in underwear. I mean, it, dude, it, that's football. The schedule release. That's an event. Draws millions of viewers, yeah, I believe. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. The UFL's top game drew seven figures. Yeah. yeah. F- football is important. A lot of people watch football. Mm-hmm. They don't understand it sometimes, but they watch it. Or they have a business surrounded. Uh, well, football is the business, so football helps people make a good living. It helps us make a good living. I, I ain't complaining about it at all, but a lot of people – Use football for um, earning a living for their career, but may not understand it like they should sometimes. But it's a great game. We love it. The floor is yours if you have any more you want to add, if there's any. What time is it? It's 12.05. Any context to well, what you might you know, be. No, it's that time of the year, Josh Ward. You alluding know, to. We. We're approaching the NFL draft. We are. It's next week. This We're is, eight days away from the first round. This is a silly season for fans and media people to just talk. Just talk about prospects. Just talk about offensive systems. Just talk. It may not make sense. It may not be accurate. But this is the time where everybody just talks. April 17th. It's a good talking just talk. date. Just talk, man. I agree with that. Just talk. Mm-hmm. Uh, I remember 
this time last year, oh, C.J. Stroud was the, the topic of conversation. You know, the question of whether his skill set would translate to the next level. My man, C.J. Stroud, was a top five quarterback in the league last year. Period. Yeah, he had a great quarterback season, not a great rookie quarterback Period. season. Period. Mm-hmm. But you heard the, oh, you know, those Ohio State quarterbacks. Oh, you know, that system. And, uh, yeah, he he scored and poorly on one of those tests. Oh, yeah, those tests. Yeah, that was Tess. He was a top five quarterback in the league mm-hmm. last year. He was so great that the Houston Texans franchise, with a rookie coach last year, this offseason said, you know what? We got our guy, and we are building around him. Mm-hmm. And they brought in experienced, proven receivers and, and running backs. So, this was last year, man. A lot of questions about C.J. Stroud. Yep, 12 months ago. You know, silly stuff like that is not confined to just one position, just not confined to the quarterback position. Uh, we got folks moving to the running back position, mm-hmm. and including Tennessee. A couple of years ago, we heard the criticism towards Josh Heupel's offense when Hendon Hooker was coming out, coming out, when Cedric Tillman was coming out. Uh, when Jalen Hyatt was coming out, you know, wasn't sure about Tillman. Well, he played a pretty significant role at wide receiver as a rookie for the Cleveland Browns. Jalen Hyatt was out there for a lot. Now, his quarterback is not that great. Probably need to move on from him. But Jalen Hyatt, his game translates. You know why? Because he's fast. He can run. He can catch. You can play at the next level if you do those things. You know, Hendon Hooker, we'll see about Hendon. Coming off the ACL, he'll have an opportunity this year. Um, Jared Goff is the franchise guy. They had an opportunity to go to the Super Bowl. I don't think we're going to see Hendon taking anybody's spot right now. Yeah, Jared Goff is rightfully the starter in Detroit. Correct, but there's a lot of questions about Hendon Hooker because of the offensive system. Right. Didn't hear those questions about Darnell Wright for some reason. Didn't hear him. You know, with Josh Heupel's offense, the offensive line – and the quarterbacks should be the two positions where you question if their game can translate to the next level. Because offensive line, you're depending on the defensive line to get tired for you to win reps, open up holes in the running games, pass protect. You're benefiting from the system, helping those defensive linemen get tired. Yep, And so it can cover up some – you know, some deficiencies with your game, with your technique, or with your athleticism. Quarterback, mm, dude, if you can throw, you can throw. If you can read coverages, you can read coverages. If you're mobile, like, it's a little bit easier probably to tell if a quarterback's game translate rather than an offensive lineman in this system. But Darnell Wright started every game for the Chicago Bears. Lewis Riddick said he would be the rookie of the year. One of the best rookies in this season. He was. So we, we've heard all that silliness. So I got time today, in case you did not know this. I got okay. some time. Yeah. Um, I'm just on Twitter. I'm, I'm minding my business. What's Twitter? Twitter. Twitter. Twitter.com. Put it in URL. That is the URL. You're correct. It says X there. I don't know why, but Twitter.com Twitter, Twitter. is the website. Yeah, Twitter. You're right. Dot com. You're right. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm out of my business. Um, but then I see a tweet, and I was like, you know what? It's, it's time to do more than just mind my business. It's, it's time for me to, to say some things. So I saw this tweet from a gentleman by the name of Josh Norris. First you name what? His first name was Josh. Okay. You ought to be disappointed. He's off to a good start. No, he, you ought to be disappointed in him okay. because okay. he has um, tarnished the Josh name with this take here. We've never claimed to be perfect. No, okay. His tweet, 7.45 p.m. yesterday, Okay. per PFF, Pro Football Focus, yep. Jalen Wright, that is Tennessee's running back last year, had just four carries when facing eight-plus defenders in the box and just five total outside runs. 
Mickey Mouse offense. Now, Josh, I'm a fan of nerds. Candy or the people? Uh, more the people. Okay. I think the word nerd is endearing. I I I look at it as a compliment. It should be. Because that means you're smart. Yep. Mm-hmm. You know, I work with one every day. You. You're my favorite nerd, man. It's a compliment. I appreciate the setup to say that that's a compliment before calling me one. Well, so, it is a compliment. Compliment accepted. Proceed. We talk about the Kim Palm. We talk about nerding out, right? Love it. Yeah. I think nerd is a compliment. There's one thing to point out numbers and statistics and things like that. It's another thing to try to use that to poo-poo on an offense that has been successful. <laughs> an offense that at one point was the number one offense in the country. An offense that has produced NFL players. An offense that has a history of being successful even before Josh Heupel because there's elements of Heupel's offense that we've seen before, and that offense was also successful. So it's the one thing to be a nerd and, and, and do your nerd stuff. I do it sometimes, too, you know, when I'm feeling in my Josh Ward, uh, getting in my Josh Ward mode. But it's another thing when you try to nerd out and down someone else or poo-poo on something else. And this is what this gentleman tried to do, talking about Tennessee's offense. Mickey sir, Mouse offense. Sir, just the history of time in football. If there's a light box, what do you do, Josh Ward? There's a light box, meaning few defenders? Few defenders in a box. Hand the ball to your running back and let him find that space. Because you have the number advantage, right? That's right. Okay, let's try this again. If there is a lot of people in the box, would you want to run the ball or would you want to pass the ball? I'd be more likely to throw it. You probably want to throw it, right? Because you just don't want to run into a brick wall. How am I doing so far in the you, test? You're doing great, man. You sound like a football expert. <laughs> so that's what bothers me about this time of the year is okay. you get folks that want to just talk without knowing what they're talking about, throwing other people under the bus, trying to down other people. In this case, it's Josh Heupel's offense that has been successful. What he failed to realize is, bro, Everyone plays a numbers game. Everyone does that on defense and offense. You know, the defense plays a number game. They'll line up more players on one side of the formation to try to set up an opportunity for a free blitzer, a free, a free rusher. Did you know that, sir? Football is a numbers game, in case you did not know that. But go ahead, go off, call Tennessee's offense, Mickey Mouse. If you can't identify why Jalen Wright is a good running back prospect, you're exposing yourself of just not knowing football. I would be more impressed if you just say, I don't know football. Just say you don't watch it. Just say you don't know it. Oh, you know what? There was another tweet that admitted not – Watching football in season. How about that? How about that? The same person admitted to not even watching college football in season. I am shocked. Completely shocked. Completely shocked. I am sensing sarcasm. We'll keep the conversation going. 865-656-9900. Next to VFL, former Tennessee wide receiver Jason Swain. Don't even watch college football, but he got the strongest opinions. He just doesn't even watch. But he got something to say about the Mickey Mouse offense. I, you know, makes no sense to me. Oh, sorry, go ahead. I'm just talking to myself over here. Was that a little Marshall Mathers over there? I guess Nowadays, so. everybody talk like they got something to say. <laughs> yeah. Nothing yeah. comes out? Yep, yep. That is a goat line right there. <laughs> we'll come back right here on Josh and Swain. If there's intelligent life out there somewhere, they're streaming 99.1 The Sports Animal. Guaranteed. Hey, it's Josh. I want to tell you about Wilson Brothers Plumbing. So we're talking about expertise or lack of knowledge here to start the show. If you get in touch with Wilson Brothers Plumbing, you are getting in touch with experts. You're getting in touch with people from a local company that is dedicated every single day to providing great quality service, customer service that you expect. 
they are going to do great work for you no matter what kind of work you need done. If you've sprung a leak and you need help getting that fixed, call Wilson Brothers Plumbing, have them come out. If you want to make sure that you don't run into an issue, if you're concerned about a potential problem, Wilson Brothers Plumbing can provide preventative service for you. We have relied on Wilson Brothers Plumbing at my home. We know that they are going to be reliable. We know that we can trust them when it comes to pricing, taking care of the job that we need done, and carrying a standard of excellence. That's what they expect of themselves and promise to you. You can get in touch with Wilson Brothers Plumbing. You can visit wilsonbrothersplumbing.com to learn more or to schedule service. That's wilsonbrothersplumbing.com. Wilson Brothers, the proof is in the plumbing. This has been a big announcement. Got a small business that no one's heard of except your grandma? Time for a boost. From Cumulus Boost, the affordable way to boost local search engine optimization and help manage reviews. Cumulus Boost helps local businesses improve their online presence so they're not buried by bigger companies and local searches. Get found, get on the map, and get a boost with Cumulus Boost at cumulusboost.com. That's C-U-M-U-L-U-S boost.com. Moments like hearing my cat purr good morning mean a lot to me. But after being diagnosed with metastatic breast cancer, or MBC, which is breast cancer that is spread to other parts of the body, they mean even more. I take Ibrance, Pelbacyclib. Ibrance 125 milligram tablets with an aromatase inhibitor is for adults with HR positive HER2 negative NBC as the first hormonal based therapy. Ask your doctor about Ibrance and visit Ibrance.com. Ibrance may cause low white blood cell counts that may lead to serious infections. Ibrance may cause severe inflammation of the lungs. Both of these can lead to death. Tell your doctor right away if you have new or worsening symptoms, including trouble breathing, shortness of breath, cough, or chest pain. Before taking Ibrance, tell your doctor if you have fever, chills, or other signs of infection, liver or kidney problems, are or plan to become pregnant, or are breastfeeding. Common side effects include low red blood cell and low platelet counts, infections, tiredness, nausea, sore mouth, abnormalities in liver blood tests, diarrhea, hair thinning or loss, vomiting, rash, and loss of appetite. Ah, spring. It's time to open up the house and let in the fresh air and sunshine. Unless your windows are foggy. (sighs) And you can't see out of them if they're foggy. They're no longer energy efficient, too. Let InstiGlass restore your windows and doors before the summer heat strikes. InstiGlass can have crystal clear glass installed fast. Get glass fast by calling InstiGlass at 865-567-4555. I-N-S-T-I-Glass.com. Hello, friends. This is Kevin Frazier with Frazier's Carpet One, and we're having a gargantuan grand reopening sale. Carol and I are excited to announce our grand reopening. Frazier's has just renovated our entire flooring showroom and is celebrating with gargantuan savings. Come see Frazier's fabulous new showroom, introducing an entirely new way to buy flooring with cloud-based room visualizers and in-store video imaging. Not to mention gorgeous new displays of carpet, hardwood, luxury vinyl, high-density laminate, and more. Plus, no money down and free financing for 18 months. If you're even thinking about new flooring, now is the time to call Frazier's at 546-4850. And we'll come to you with free in-home estimates, free in-home shopping, and free in-home design consultation. Frazier's, Frazier's, Frazier's. I like your style. The hottest sports stories of the day broken down to their very core with honest, informed opinions. Here's Josh and Swain on The Sports Animal. Back on Josh and Swain. Thank you for being with us. So, Swain, and you're uh, in your state in the offense that you have taken with the description of Tennessee's offense. Yep. You can't hold this against all Josh's. Not that you are, but you can't because it is Josh Norris online talking about Josh Heupel's offense. So there is my out for being lumped into the Josh's you have a negative view toward. There, okay, there can be a Josh Norris who you're not happy with, but there's also a Josh Heupel. 
There's a Josh Dobbs. It's too many Joshes. Not enough. There's a Josh Ward. So I want to I want to get that out in the open before we start to just pile on Joshes out there. There are good ones among us too. I'm offended, man. I, I really I really am. You know, uh, you know, we live in a day and age where like everyone gets offended about every little thing. You can't say anything, can't do anything. Sure. Uh, you know, if you even breathe, somebody else is probably going to be offended. Like, mm-hmm. why would you be so greedy with the oxygen? There's other oxygen that, you know, that other people need. Why are you breathing at all? Like, people will be offended about everything, anything. Yep. But I'm offended about this. <laughs> as a football dude, yep. as a guy that played the game, that respects the X's and O's and the, the, the chess play that goes on, mm-hmm. like, I'm offended by, by, by the laziness. Each when, team gets 11 spots to fill with players. What do you do with those 11? How do you move them? Where do you put them? How do you get them to go there? That's what the game's about. Yeah. Like, you know, you, you know what a Mickey Mouse offense is? A triple option. It's boring. <laughs> the context here is Josh Norris tweeted out, per pro football focus, Jalen Wright had just four carries when facing eight-plus defenders in the box and just five total outside runs. Mickey Mouse offense. So a, a few tweets to follow that up as well. So football people, you know, scouts, mm-hmm. dudes like Kevin Simon, that their their job is to go around the country, gather all the information on college prospects to see if their game translates to the next level. Those people that do that for a living, not fantasy football bloggers, like those dudes, they can tell – whether a player who's playing in college and use a certain type of way can can their game be played the same way at the next level, or can they contribute uh, contribute at the next level? It's no different than Josh Heupel, um, Billy Napier, Brian Kelly, all the football coaches in the SEC. They have to make that determination when they're recruiting high school players, because there's high school players that. More times than not, they're the best athlete on their team. And you're going to put that best athlete probably a quarterback, probably a running back. But that doesn't mean that player is going to play at the next level. You want another example? How about Boo Carter? Boo Carter's playing defense, but Boo Carter played everything in high school because he's the best athlete. And so at the pro level, scouts, like that's what they're hired for. They're scouts. At the college level, you have like recruiting personnel people you got high school relations dudes and girls but like the nfl level they are real personnel people they're scouts let me help you tell you why Jalen wright's game translates to the nfl level number one he is fast i think that's pretty simple pretty easy would you agree it's very fast very fast yeah yeah, yeah. he does a really good job of holding on to the football he doesn't fumble. I think he what he had one lost fumble this year. One in okay. twenty twenty three. Yeah, that Missouri game. Bad timing, but he does a good job of holding on to the football. Two things I've mentioned sound pretty simple or pretty elementary, doesn't it? I got another one for you, Josh. He does a really good job catching the ball out of the backfield. He can be used as a wide receiver. The Florida game proves that when he caught the swing pass on third or fourth down. By Joe Milton, it was a freaking rocket, and he caught it like he was a receiver standing in front of a jug machine. Um, how many missed tackles? How many tackles have Jalen Wright broken this year? A ton. Yards after contact, a ton. He has done that. Yeah, he's pretty big at his position with the speed that he has. At the combine, what did he do at the combine? He he, he was probably the, one he of the jumped really high and really far. Yeah, one of the best running backs at the combine. So all those scouts, all those people at the combine, I think they probably wrote on their pad, "Can play here, <laughs> can play with us." But again, there's no need to try to poo-poo on Tennessee's offense if you just don't know what you're talking about. Offensive coordinators look for numbers 
in their advantage every single play. Every play, man. Every play. This is what they do. So. Yeah, the the real issue to me here, the biggest issue is riding out Mickey Mouse offense. If you want to say, hey, I would have liked to have seen how Jalen performed in heavier boxes, what he did in those situations, okay, that's a, that's a fair thing you would like to see because that just didn't happen a lot. But to then take a shot at the offense, I don't even know exactly what Mickey Mouse offense means because the goal of the offense is to produce yards and points yeah, to beat yeah. the opponent. Yeah. Uh, in a general statement, of course. So you're just inviting an attack when you say Mickey Mouse offense. Especially the offense that has been successful. Right. This, the, the offense was as good as it got in 20, uh, as good as it got in 2022. Like he, he shares this, this shot from the Texas A&M game where there are four guys in the box. If, he's, if he wants to say, if Josh wants to say, yeah, this play is difficult to – to say one way or the other how it translates to the NFL, okay, whatever. But if you're using that as a follow-up to a criticism, at least as it's perceived with the offense, you've done yourself no favors. If you want to criticize the offense, go ahead. But it, 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 you hold more weight if the offense is not successful. Like, why would you criticize something that works? Just because it's different? Like, that's that's silly. That's silly. At some point in the NBA, someone said, you know what, man, we're we going to stop shooting all these two-pointers. We're going to start shooting these threes. And I'm sure at first someone was like, oh, man, that's, that's silly, man. That's Mickey Mouse analytics. That's, it, it just makes sense to shoot the ball closer to the basket. Why would you want to sh- shoot it three steps further? We could shoot it three steps closer. Closer is better, duh. And then the second team started doing it. And now everyone do, does it, and now it has poured over into the college game. And it's poured over to the men's and the women's game. Yep. Lady Vols. Expect more threes. <laughs> so, so, like, to criticize something that works, to me, is just idiotic and, and, and silly. And then to try to criticize why Jalen Wright was successful but not know – that NFL teams, they look at your measurables. They look at your style of play. And then they determine if you can play at the next level. So you notice you heard a lot of questions about Jalen Wright, excuse me, Jalen Hyatt's ability to play receiver at the next level. Why didn't you hear those same questions surrounding Cedric Tillman? Why didn't we? They played in the same offense. Both were successful, different points of their career. Tillman, this last year, had you know injury trouble, but the year before was unstoppable. Torch Alabama, torch Georgia, torch all the big teams and NFL prospects. Did a really good job. They played the same offense, yet the criticism was different between those two. Why? Because they're different players. Uh, Cedric Tillman is a better route runner. Duh, he's a better route runner. He's big. He's bigger. He's more physical. So his game translates. Doesn't matter what system he played in. Why, why was Josh Palmer drafted so high for a guy that didn't do anything his last year? Because he didn't have an offense. He didn't have a quarterback that could throw him the ball. But, yeah, Josh Palmer was drafted in the third round. I wonder why. I wonder why he was drafted in the third round. I wonder why he's been successful. Because at that point, the stock of people named Josh was higher. I guess. I guess. I wonder why. Because you can look at his game and go, Mm -hmm. he's 6'2". He weighs this amount. He can stop. He can go. He can change directions. He can catch. He runs a 4'4". He's coachable. He has a high ceiling. We're going to draft him in the third round. That's what football people do. They make that decision they make that determination so that's why i'm sitting here offended and was offended by that silly tweet i don't like that mickey mouse gets lumped into this either yeah mickey mouse mickey mouse is buying wrong. his business hanging out with Minnie, doing their thing yeah 
and you over here bothering him, bothering him. It makes no sense to me. Jalen Wright at the combine, 5'10", 210 pounds, 4'38", 40 yard dash, 38 inch vertical, 11'2", broad jump. He handled his business quite well. well let me show you. Let me show you this uh, screenshot of the. You know, of the Tennessee Texas A and M game where only four dudes or was in the box. <laughs> Lance uh, Zerline, NFL analyst at NFL dot com, provided the overview of Jalen, noting that he's an explosive back with good size and breakaway speed. He should make a day two target and a future starter in the NFL has big play potential, and talent as a pass catcher. Hmm. He's capable of running with power. Hmm. Uh, must we explain those uh, those um, broken tackles and yards after contact that I just explained. What else? What does he say? What else you got there? I'm sure that guy got that from some of the scouts that uh, are sources for him. And I'm sure he could... See that on the game film, too. One other note from Lance Zerline. He comes from a Donald Duck offense. <laughs> no, I don't know the context there, but that's Zerline's take at NFL.com. Oh, we'll continue the conversation at 865-656-9900 if you would like to join us. Yeah, we'll talk Tennessee football. We'll talk Tennessee's football off season that is now underway, or at least the next stage is. We'll talk to Austin Price in the 1 o'clock hour about the close to spring and the portal and recruiting. We have a lot to cover. Stay with us right here on Josh and Swain. The great thing about sports is it never stops. Here's another 60-second sports minute on the sports animal. Tennessee baseball defeated Bellarmine 20-5 to last night after hitting six home runs at Lindsey Nelson Stadium. The Vols have won seven straight games and head to Lexington for a three-game SEC series against number three Kentucky starting on Friday. In the NBA play-in tournament, the Lakers held off the Pelicans 110-106. to Los Angeles wraps up the number seven seed in the West. The Kings defeated the Warriors 118-94. to Warriors missed out on the postseason. Kings will face the Pelicans for the number eight seed on Friday. Tonight, the Heat face the 76ers in the Eastern Conference play-in game at 7 o'clock for the 7-8 matchup. In the 9-10 game at 9-30, the Bulls will host the Hawks. The Tennessee Smokies continue their current homestead against the Montgomery Biscuits at Smoky Stadium tonight. The Smokies looking to build off their 6-5 win over Montgomery last night. First pitch is at 7 o'clock. Four games in the NHL at 7. Maple Leafs visit the Lightning. Penguins take on the Islanders at 9-30. Stars host the Blues. Oilers take on the Coyotes at 10. I'm Joel Silverberg. Homeowners, this month is your month. Huge month until the end of the month, with this, which is April the 30th. You can take advantage of big savings on home systems. Enjoy $1,500 off select new HVAC systems. Also, home whole, whole home water filtration and descalers and select new whole home generators. If you've been waiting for the right time to upgrade or replace your systems and get a great deal, this is the time. Again, $1,500 off. For more details, visit happyhiller.com for all your details. This has been a big announcement. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. You've got questions? O'Reilly Auto Parts has answers. Need a pro you can trust? We've got that too. No matter what you need, our professional parts people have the training and expertise to help you do things right. Deep automotive knowledge. Just one part that makes O'Reilly stand apart. The professional parts people. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Auto Parts. Tyler from Wendy's here. The best part of Wendy's new Cinnabon pull-apart is every part. Unlike mornings, which have no good parts. Until now. Because with Wendy's new breakfast Cinnabon pull-apart, mornings finally don't completely suck. And now that mornings have warm cinnamon sugar rolled dough and ooey gooey frosting, are they the best part of every day? Probably not, but you get the idea. Get to Wendy's today and get the best part in every bite with the new Cinnabon Pull Apart. At participating U.S. Wendy's, Cinnabon is a registered trademark of Cinnabon Franchise or SPP LLC. Who likes whipped cream? Everyone, of course. Introducing Whiplash Whiskey, the original whipped cream whiskey. Whiplash Whiskey is a high quality whiskey with natural flavors to taste just like whipped cream. You can chill it, shoot it, or shake it. 
And when we say shake it, we mean you can create the most amazing drinks like an espresso Manhattan, a whiplash creamsicle, chunky monkey, or fluffernutter. Check out whiplashwhiskeyco.com for more recipes and ask for whiplash whiskey at your local retailer. Paid for by Athens Distributing. Vol fans, this is VFL Chris Brown at Harper Volkswagen. We're excited to offer 0% financing on the 2024 Volkswagen Tiguan SUV and rates as low as 1.9% on the made in Tennessee 2024 Volkswagen Atlas. Remember, Harper Auto Square is a proud partner of Tennessee Athletics and the number one spot for Vol fans. Come see us and check out our extensive selection of new and pre-owned Volkswagens at Harper Volkswagen, 9901 Kingston Pike, or online at harpervw.com. Go Vols! Wow, these bank fees are flat out ridiculous. And forget about trying to get a car or home loan. So, uh, do you do your banking with, Sharon? Me? I don't. You use a bank? No. So what do you like, save your money under a mattress? Bury it in the backyard? Or maybe you borrow from some rich relative when you need a loan? No, n- nothing like that. I do credit unioning. Wait, what? Credit unioning? It's kind of like banking, but so much better, especially if you use Alcoa 10 Federal Credit Union. Need a home loan to buy, build, or remodel the home of your dreams, but not sure what loan option is right for you? Alcoa 10 can help. Their lending team can assist you in finding the solution that best fits your needs. Alcoa 10 Federal Credit Union, the clear choice. Your less red tape banking alternative. Go to atfcu.com for details. Member NCUA and Equal Housing Lender. This report is sponsored by Positive Coaching Alliance. Got issues with youth or high school sports? Positive Coaching Alliance can help. PCA, a national nonprofit, offers more than a thousand free online resources for youth and high school sports coaches, parents, students, and administrators. Visit PCADevZone.org. Highs are expected to be into the mid 70s. It's breezy because it gusts up to about 20 to 30 miles per hour throughout the day. We'll continue to track scattered downpours and storms as we head into the afternoon hours as well. We'll start to dry out a little bit later tonight, dropping into about the lower 60s. More sunshine heading into your Thursday. From the WVLT First Alert Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Paige Noel. Josh and Sway on 99.1 The Sports Animal. Once again, voted one of the top 25 sports midday shows in America by Barrett Sports Media. Back on Josh and Swain. Thank you for being with us. It is noted in the text box, uh, Mickey's Operation is a global business that makes a lot of money. So we're, we're, we're good with Mickey Mouse here. The Mickey Mouse offense is the uh, criticism that Swain took exception to earlier in the show. I uh, was we, offended. I'm okay now. Uh, text from uh, Josh, I believe, in Newport. Defending the name of Josh, which is important to do on this show, so we'll we'll still spend some time there. I think several noting when teams load the box, you pass the ball. It's called out scheming a team. That's yeah, uh, that's another pretty, text. It's pretty basic. I think now you ought to be able to. You you'll love this. You'll love this. You, you're gonna be strutting around here for the next couple of weeks when you hear this. Okay, pin's ready. Let me make a note so I can go back to reference. What do you got? I think there should be a test administered. You have to pass it. Okay. It's like a, kind of like a wonder lick test to be named Josh. Oh. Like if, you, if you, your parents wants to name you Josh, you have to qualify to be Josh now. Now we're getting somewhere. Because of, because of a man right here, this, this Josh right here that called Tennessee's offense Mickey Mouse. He has ruined it for the other Joshes. Josh is a respectable name. I, that's what I'm saying. I think you have to pass a test to be named Josh. Okay, I'll put it to a vote. I'm just trying to protect all the other Joshes out here. I'll send this over to the Josh board. I'm trying to protect all the other Joshes that do their research that 
have good sports takes. I try to show up informed. Yeah, man. I'm just I'm trying to protect you, man. That's all I'm trying to do. I got your back, Josh. You got my back? Correct. Everybody's got their back. Well, whatever that means. 865-656-9900 here on Josh and Swain. We say hello to Tony. Tony, good afternoon. Thanks for calling in. What's on your mind? Tony. Hey, hey, Josh and Swain. How y'all doing? What's up, Tony? Oh, nothing, man. Just out here trying to make a living. Uh-huh. Hey, uh, uh, let me ask you this question. Y'all might have answered it yesterday in the text box, but I did uh, I never heard y'all say anything about it. Uh, if we, say for instance, if we like six, seven deep at receiver on this team coming up this year, uh, Swain with two playing wide receiver, could, yeah, and I understand that Hyper don't want to slow his offense down by substitute. Couldn't you play the uh, different receivers, you know, like your, like your, your starters and, and the A group and then whoever's back up and they, you know, almost as good as the starters in a B group? Couldn't you play them in different series when the offense is uh, not running them in and out, but when the offense go off the field and the defense come on, and then when the defense go off and the offense come back, couldn't you play six receivers uh, like that you, without you, slowing down the offense? And and the reason I ask that and I hang up and listen to y'all is because that would take care of two things. That would take care of playing time for so many different receivers we got, and maybe they wouldn't go in the portal. And uh, they wouldn't go in the portal, and then that would plus give them playing time as well and the time to, you know, shine. So I hang up and uh, listen to see what you got to say about that point. Hey, thank you, man. Thank you for the phone call. Thank you for, you know, the thoughtful question. Uh, I think that could be a solution. I don't like it. You think Don Connect on a, on a share time with – the backup, small forward, to keep him from transferring. <laughs> you think Rick Barnes is like, hey, hey, backup, small forward. You know, we're going to give you the same amount of reps as Don Connect in the game because we don't want you to transfer. Forget forget the game. Forget trying to put our best players on the, on the, on the court and have them on the court as long as possible. No, no, we're going we gonna to divvy this up because we want to make it fair. Mm-mm. If I am group A of the three receivers, in practice, I've been killing p- people out here. I'm the most reliable receiver. I don't drop balls. I catch balls during the summer. I'm the hardest work- working. I'm the most reliable. I got the highest draft grade. I'm him. I'm that dude. We go out first position of the game. I score a touchdown. Second position of the game, we draw the ball down the field. I make another play, but we also score a touchdown as a team. It's 14 nothing. Josh Heupel comes to me or Kelsey Polk comes to me and go, hey, we're going to put in we're gonna put in Timmy because we don't want Timmy to transfer. We're going to put him in next. Why? Why, Coach? Now, you know, we just, you know, just want to give him equal reps. You know, we just want to keep them happy. Huh? I thought we were trying to win, Coach. I thought we were trying to dominate. I thought the best players play. I thought that's how it works here. If you but what if it's more equal? What if it's not as clear of a separation? If, if it's equal, which you can't have six equal receivers. Right. That's, that's right. impossible. Yeah. But, like, let's say for issues and giggles, all right? That they're all equal. Well, you got to go with the youngest because he's going to be there longer for you, right? If you had six receivers that were all equal, you go with the youngest. I don't want to play dudes just to keep them from transferring. If you ain't one of the best, you don't play. But I do think Josh Heupel can play more receivers using – receivers from drive to drive rather than substituting during a drive. That's something that I call or mention that is very, very noteworthy because Josh Heupel wants that tempo to be high 
And you can't do that if you're substituting. Because once you sub, you allow the defense to sub. And we have seen games that are played between offense and defense where the offense will make a substitution. The defense will make a substitution right then. And then as the play clock is around 10, the defense will make another substitution. And that player trots out really slow. Really slow. Because the official has to let that player get on and get set before he moves from the ball. And when he moves from the ball, the playcock is at one. Zero, flag, delay of game. So those are the chess moves that are made during the game. If I am Josh Heupel, I'm, I don't want to substitute. Because as soon as you do it, the defense will try to play that, play that card. Yeah, Tennessee's defense did it a number of times last a year. A number of times. Yep. Real slow. Real Ooh. slow. Just taking your yep. sweet time. Yep. So, let's say. We'll it, save that. We'll come back right, for it. We'll I'm continue. 865-656-9900. Right. Right. Wide receivers, they want to stay on the field. They want to stay on the mic. We'll stay right here on Josh and Swain. Sports Animals Stream now has streaming only giveaways. Listen daily to the Sports Animals Stream for keywords to text in for a chance to win. Caller 5 right now. 656 wins. Qualifies for the Hoop D Madness prize pack. You could be the winner of two tickets to the 2024 Wells Fargo Championship and $1,000 to cover travel costs. Hoop D swag, including two paddle boards, a cooler, cornhole boards, and a patio umbrella. That's Caller 5 right now. 656 9 Four six seven. Spring is here, and it's also known as engagement season. If you've been thinking, hey, now is the time, but you don't know where to go for that perfect ring, you need my jewelry store, TK Wheeler Jewelers. Hey, this is Heather. If you want to stress less and get more bling for your buck, just head on out to South Illinois Avenue in Oak Ridge, the right there next to the Outback Steakhouse. And TK, he's been in business for over 40 years in the Oak Ridge community. He's got his store packed with beautiful gifts for any occasion. But right now, with spring fever popping, you want to pop the big question? You need the perfect engagement ring. Sit down with TK himself. He'll teach you how to buy a diamond. What do all those C's mean? What are the certifications? How do I know what setting she's going to love? He'll really be able to dial in your fiancé's taste and make sure you've got a huge selection of diamonds and engagement ring settings to choose from. They've got everything from classic diamond solitaires to the beautiful diamond halo settings. And if you're like me, I love my diamond eternity band. It's from the one and only TK Wheeler Jewelers. This has been a paid announcement. Golf season is here, and an eagle awaits you at Sevierville Golf Club. The very best golf in the beautiful Smoky Mountains is ready for you. Two 18-hole championship courses with breathtaking views, unique layouts, and pristine enough to be named the best-maintained public golf course in all of Tennessee. All of this makes for a round of golf you won't soon forget. So challenge your game with all the elements of rolling hills, water, sand, and quick greens. Visit SevierbilleGolfClub.com to book your tee time or to learn more about memberships. Sevierville Golf Club, an eagle awaits you. Oh, oh. O'Reilly. Check engine light on? Take the guesswork out of your check engine light with O'Reilly Veriscan. It's free and provides a report with solutions based on over 650 million vehicle scans verified by ASE certified master technicians. And if you need help, we can recommend a shop for you. Ask for O'Reilly Veriscan today. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Auto Parts. The countdown is on for the 2024 NFL Draft, presented by Bud Light. Catch all seven rounds, three days, live from Detroit, April 25th to 27th with NFL Network Draft coverage presented by Verizon and on ABC, ESPN, ESPN Deportes, and streaming on NFL+. Plus. It all starts Thursday, April 25th at 8 p.m. Eastern. Visit NFL.com slash draft for more information. Presented by Bud Light. Easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Spring's here, and it's a great time of year. You can smell fresh-cut grass, and everyone's excited to be outside again. It's your year to get that great lawn, and you can do it. And Dickens Turf and Landscape Supply can help. Dickens is now the X-Mark mower dealer for Knoxville, and they're stocked up with a ton of choices for your next zero-turn mower. They have the best seed and fertilizers available and would be glad to coach you to a great lawn. They also carry mulch and pine straw. Dickens Turf and Landscape Supply in Knoxville, Maryville, and coming soon to 620 East Emory Road in Powell. You know, it sounds good right about now. Mouth-watering wings with an order of pig fries. Mmm. 
it's time to get some wings. And not just any wings, the wings that changed it all. Big Kahuna Wings Happy Hour is back, and it's not just a clever name. You'll be beyond happy with our drink specials from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. all week at our Farragut location. Big Kahuna Wings. Change your taste buds forever. Join Josh and Swain live this Friday at Avalon Golf and Country Club for the Philip Fulmer Golf Classic, benefiting the boys and girls clubs of the Tennessee Valley. Sponsored by Waste Connections of Tennessee. Visit FulmerAuction.com to view the auction items up for grabs. Have the kids got their homework done? Did the babysitter get them to bed on time? Did my package get delivered? All those questions can have answers even when you're not at home. With the latest in technology, Fleener Security keeps you in the know even when you're not at home. Fleener Security Systems, online at FleenerSecurity.com. I'm Michael Jenkins, helping you beat the books with BetQL. The end of the NHL regular season is upon us, and the final game of the regular season for the Leafs has them visiting Tampa Bay. Toronto will finish third in the Atlantic Division as they take on the Lightning to close out the season. The Leafs will be chasing their first NHL title in more than 50 years. The BetQL model likes the Maple Leafs in this one and is even getting a little plus money with Toronto. The five-star best bet is to take the Maple Leafs on the money line against Tampa Bay. I'm Michael Jenkins, bet smarter and beat the books with BetQL and download the BetMGM app today. For the ones who work hard to ensure their crew can always go the extra mile, and the ones who get in early so everyone can go home on time, there's Granger, offering professional-grade supplies backed by product experts so you can quickly and easily find what you need. Plus, you can count on access to a committed team ready to go the extra mile for you. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. From the Budweiser Studios of the Sports Animal, we are 99.1, the Sports Animal. Final segment of our number one of Josh and Swain. Swain, uh, thoughts that were left over from the end of the last segment talking about seven wide receivers trying to take the number one guys like you off the field. No, nah, I wouldn't say all that. Okay. I was just a contributor, just trying to do my job, help my team win. Hey, the, the Joshes have gotten all the attention this hour. I want to give Jason some love as well. Well, you know what? Let me tell you a little story. Okay. Oh, I got a little bit of time. 2005 at... Alabama. I'm a oh junior. Um, I'm doing my thing. Made the previous year, touchdown, got the game ball. We beat Alabama. Um, defensive struggle, low score in the game. Fair to say. It's third down. They they put in Lucas Taylor, Austin Rogers. Josh Briscoe in at the same time. Third down. Brian Denny. I lost my stuff. I lost it. I was so furious. I was so mad. Um, but that's an example of like, hey man, you, you earn your playing time by what you do in the games and in practice. Don't just be putting people out there just to put them out there. Did we pick up that third down? No, we did not. If we did, I wouldn't have said anything. But I understand the phone call because you don't want to lose players. But at the same time, you can't compromise what's the most important thing, which is playing your best players as much as possible. That's like that's how you win. You play your best players as much as possible. And when you, a player signs a scholarship here, they're given the opportunity to earn those minutes, those reps. And if they don't, then they have to make a decision about what they want to do with their career. But you can't, as a coach, lower the bar just to try to get guys in. Six to three was the final that day. I was not happy on that sideline, buddy. Uh, I, was, I went T.O. I wouldn't imagine so. I wasn't the only receiver that went T.O. It was a bunch of TOs on that sideline, a bunch of older TOs. We, we were not happy about that. We'll take a TO, and we'll come back with two hours to go and invite you to join us, 865-656-9900 on Josh and Swain. 
At Charmin, we heard you shouldn't talk about going to the bathroom in public, so we decided to sing about it. When you roll the Charmin up to South on the party, this is more so roll it back everybody. Charmin's irresistible soft and have a nice. A grip is always soft. It's our party line. Yeah. Yeah. So Charmin Ultra Soft is irresistibly soft and more absorbent, so you can use less. Enjoy the go with Charmin. Thanks for calling Discover. This is Gabby. Hey, Gabby. It's Jennifer Coolidge. Hi. I'm, I'm so glad I reached you at 2 a.m. Oh, of course. Anyone with a Discover card can call and talk to a real person 24-7. Now, how can I help? Yeah, I used my Discover card to buy these yellow pleather pajamas, and I'm just not sure I'm pulling them off. 24-7 U.S.-based customer service. It pays to Discover. Limitations apply. Learn more at discover.com slash credit card. The team at Kitchen Sales can help you with whatever size project you have on the horizon. Are you thinking about upgrading your master bathroom or kitchen? Do yourself a favor and call the pros at Kitchen Sales first. Hey, this is Heather Harrington, and Kitchen Sales has been in our house twice. First, they created an incredibly beautiful and functional kitchen in our in-law suite. It was really impressive how they used every square inch of a dormer space. Then they gave us the kitchen of our dreams in 2019, maximizing our budget by helping us reuse some of our existing cabinetry and then bringing in new cabinetry on our 11 by 4 foot island and blending it seamlessly. If your job is big or small or your budget is big or small, the place to go is always kitchen sales. They have more selection, they can beat salvage store pricing, and they can go all the way up to a fully custom line. They've got two great locations for you, Hoyt Avenue in downtown just off Cherry Street and in the town and country circle in West Knoxville. And for more information and some amazing before and after photos, you can always find them online at kitchensales.net. This has been a paid advertisement. Summer is almost here, and Saturday, April 20th, first time ever, a limited number of lake lots are being released. Two acre wooded lots from 79.9. Lake lots with covered boat slips from 64.9. Lake cottage package, only 349.9. Pickleball, pools, on site coffee shop, marina, hiking trails, and much more. Call for your private tour. Appointments are limited. Celebrate lake life and make memories. Limited property release Saturday, April 20th. Call 865 408 9992, or better yet, visit lakelivingtn.com. Memories start here. Are you tired of struggling with your gate every time you come home say goodbye to the hassle and hello to convenience with stanley fencing your east tennessee experts and automatic gate operators from big fencing jobs to cozy backyard setups they've got you covered at stanley fencing they take pride in not just building fences but building lasting relationships with our customers let the friendly team at stanley fencing take care of all your fencing needs because when you choose them you're not just getting a fence you're getting a partner for life stanley fencing where quality and care come together Being in a doghouse is hard. Your water shouldn't be. Hey guys, this is David Brewster from AquaClear Water Systems. Have you ever bought a vehicle without your wife knowing? You guessed it. I'm in the doghouse, but it's not my fault. Here's what happened. My son pre-ordered the Tesla Cybertruck four years ago, then bought a house and couldn't afford it. So he wanted me to buy it, but I knew my wife wouldn't go for it. A Cybertruck? So I asked her if I could do some advertising on a billboard on the road, and she said yes, and that's all I needed to justify the buy. So I bought it and wrapped it. It's the best and cheapest billboard on the road and hundreds of people take pictures. But when she saw it, I was busted. Now I'm sleeping in the cyber doghouse. Good thing it's got dog mode. So if you see the Aqua Cyber billboard, please post pictures everywhere and refer me so I can stop sleeping in the cyber. Aqua Clear, we'll change your water. It'll change your life. Aqua Being in the doghouse is hard. Your water shouldn't be. This is WNML FM Friendsville, WNML AM Knoxville, Cumulus Media Stations, broadcasting worldwide from the Budweiser Studios. We are 99.1 The Sports Animal. This is Andrew Perloff with a Sports Minute. Zion Williamson is one of the most frustrating athletes in sports. Last night, his remarkable athleticism was on display against the Lakers, but he got hurt with three minutes left and the Pelicans lost. It's been the story of his career, incredible flashes, then injuries. With LeBron nearing the end, the NBA needs new stars. Zion could be one of the faces of the league. Unfortunately, we may never see him reach that potential. I'm Andrew Perloff. Gas, groceries, utilities, you name it. The price of everything is going up. And if you're stuck in a bad timeshare with rising maintenance fees, 
The financial burden can be crushing. It is time to get your finances in order and get the real facts about that timeshare that you are stuck in and your options to get rid of it. Chuck McDowell, founder of Wesley Financial Group, has been helping families out of horrible timeshares for over 10 years and has put together a complete timeshare exit information kit that he will send you absolutely free. To date, over 30,000 families have trusted Wesley Financial Group to help them out of financial hardship by getting them out of bad timeshares. Get the facts about how the timeshare industry works and your options for cancellation. Simply call Wesley now for your free timeshare exit kit and see how you can become timeshare free. Call 800-462-3333. That's 800-462-3333. Once again, 800-462-3333. Start your fitness journey with no long-term contracts in month-to-month memberships at Fort Sanders Health and Fitness Center. In hour number two of Josh and Swain. Thank you for being with us as we continue for two more hours on 99.1 The Sports Animal as well as AM640 The Sports Monster. Everybody listening in the Tri Cities area, thank you for being with us. Thanks for tuning in however you are doing so, listening or watching. We're live on the 99.1 Sports Animal YouTube page if you'd like to watch the show as well. You can join us by calling or texting in at 865 656 9900. We'll talk Tennessee football. The end of spring, the portal, are there some positions that Tennessee might pursue? Could Tennessee go after running back? That talk continues with the portal window now open. We'll talk to Austin Price about that coming up at one fifteen, as everybody is in roster evaluation mode. Today, people were kind of pouring into the portal uh, today. Uh, basketball, football, it's, it's, a, it's a real event, man. I saw where Miami's running back went to the portal. Saw where a five star, former five star DB from Colorado, Cormani McLean, hit the hit the portal. Is entering the portal. Yep. So somebody gonna get a good player, a player with some talent. A couple of running backs in the portal. What does that mean for Tennessee? Saw where there's a report from. On three, uh, a post on Twitter that the Oregon State running back was going to visit Tennessee. And I was like, hmm, that's, that's news to me because um, I didn't think that was happening. And we'll get Austin Price to, to cover that, but I'm not expecting Tennessee to, to host that young man. We'll see if anything is different when we talk to Austin Price. We had a text from Chase asking about Tyler Barron entering the portal. I, I still have not actually seen a report that that has happened. There was the re, there was a report yesterday from Brandon Marcello that he rescinded. He issued apology, said he called Jeff Brom and spoke to him personally. He is uh, Louisville's head coach. So that's all I'm aware of. So I don't know if that's the reference or if there's that anything else reference. out there. D- okay. During that report, Tyler Barron was mentioned, at, mentioned as one of the players that – was going to enter the transfer portal. So that's why people assume that he was going to go into the portal. That's where it came from. Okay. But I think by the time you saw it, Marcelo had Taking rescinded everything and took took everything down. Um, but that's that's where it came from. So as of right now, unless something changed, Tyler Barron is going to be at Louisville. Um, I have a feeling. You know that song about Black Eyed Peas? I got a feeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, today's going to be a great show? Yeah, 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 mm-hmm. yeah. Like, I got a feeling like that. I got a feeling that Tyler Barron probably wish he would stay in Tennessee. All that to be in Louisville? Hey, unless the bag is huge. If the bag is humongous, then, uh, hey, it may be worth it. But I don't know if the grass was greener on the other side. Probably is not. Probably not. With all due respect to Louisville. I don't have any 
Uh, Jonte Porter is going to have to enter a portal to a different basketball league as the NBA banned him for life today after the investigation found that he placed 13 bets and even bet against the Toronto Raptors, the team that he plays for. Now, none of the bets that they uncovered took place on games that he played in, but they were bets against his own team. The NBA has banned John Tay Porter for life. He is the younger brother of Michael Porter Jr., the starting forward for the Denver Nuggets. They are former Missouri Tigers basketball players. So John Tay Porter banned for life today by the NBA. What do you think P. Rose is saying right now? You bet, bet against your own team? I, at least I bet on my own team to win. His largest bet, according to the investigation, was $22,000. Smallest bet, 15 bucks. What is he doing, <laughs> man? That's, that's what we bet. That's quite, that's quite a range, yeah. yeah that, that's, that's for us to bet, $15. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing, man? You're a professional athlete. Number one, you shouldn't be betting in the first place. But number two, if you're going to bet, $15? Oh, man. Not, not, not worth it one bit. Not worth it one bit. Mm, mm, mm. The NBA said in the release that Porter's ban, the investigation remains open. It's sharing information with federal authorities. So you have that story in the sports world today. Total of the 13 bets, $54,094. Mm, mm, mm. He did profit. No, he did. A little more than twenty one thousand dollars. Total payout was seventy six grand. Twenty one thousand nine hundred sixty five dollars. The profit from the thirteen wagers. Yeah, no. By the way, the Raptors profit. won, or at least the bet lost. I, I don't know if the rap it was in a parlay, but uh, all three bets that were parlays, one of which included the Raptors losing, lost. So there's your, your uh, update on Jonte Porter banned for life. I do think, though, personally, this is my personal opinion, one benefit of legalized sports gambling, because there are differing opinions and good points on both sides to the subject, I do think a benefit of legalized sports betting is this stuff is easier to find out. Yeah. Because sports betting took place before legalized sports betting. It's just not worth it. It's just not worth it. Yeah, I'm, I often I can see the perspective. I can do a pretty good job of figuring out, okay, here's what they were thinking. Here's why they were doing this and that. I can't figure out the motivation here of why John Tay Porter, who has an opportunity to earn NBA money, yep. which is big-time money, to risk it on what is an amount that doesn't come close. So I don't get that. It's, the, it's it's probably the thrill. It's the thrill, man. You have people who are thrill seekers. You know, they want to get on roller coasters. They want to mm-hmm. jump out of, you know, airplanes. They want to get on motorcycles. Um, you know, they they want a thrill. And some people feel that thrill when betting. Well, go home and bet on the NFL because that's still okay. <sighs> don't do it at the facility. Don't do it on your league. Don't do it with your own team. You, you, to have something like a career in the NBA, you have, to be, you have to be willing to sacrifice something. You did it your whole entire career to get to that point. Yeah. You sacrificed time that you could be using to hang out with your friends and – sleep or play video games but you worked in the gym you made sacrifices to get to that level to play at that level and stay at that level you have to make another sacrifice you have to give up something that you want to do or like to do to have what you ultimately want and and that's to play at the nba level but he wanted both yeah i'll also add this i don't know john tay porter i don't know where his passion is he obviously. Uh, yeah, well, we I might. I might, I I might now. Have, I think we have a good idea. I might now. I don't know where his level of passion is with the game of basketball. He's dealt with, I think, 
at least two torn ACLs when he was in college at Missouri. Okay. So he's had some tough luck. That might have, so I don't I don't know him personally. I don't know I don't know all of the motivation or the the thinking or where he is with the game of basketball. He might have said to himself, "You know what? If I don't play basketball ever again, I'm good." I, I don't know. Yeah, but. but it still doesn't sound like good decision making to me. So that is the news from the NBA: a lifetime ban for the Toronto Raptors. Jonte Porter, former SEC player at Missouri, younger brother of Michael Porter Jr. with the Nuggets, now getting ready to play the Lakers in the first round. We'll get back to Tennessee football. Austin Price of AllQuest. Where is Tennessee coming out of spring? What might they be looking for in the transfer portal to help the 2024 football team? We'll ask Austin when we come back here on Josh and Swain. Is there anything more fun than streaming 99.1 The Sports Animal? Better answer that very carefully. I'll take that as an answer of at least one thing. Elevate your products today with Native Nursery. Now open to contractors and landscapers. We're your one-stop destination, offering quality wholesale plants, trees, and landscaping materials. We'll even take your leaves and hardscape waste for a low flat rate. If you are a contractor or landscaper, make Native Nursery your go-to location today. Call or come by and see Ben and Ted. 865-315-0123 in 3473 Louisville Road. Five minutes from Pellissippi off the Topside Road exit. Every morning, every evening, we're here. It's time to spring into fun at Games and Things Annual Spring Clearance Sale. If you've ever thought about adding a pool table, home theater seating, or that special something to your game room, you do not want to miss this sale. Shuffleboard, air hockey, table tennis, video arcade games, and over 100 styles of kitchen and bar stools at the best prices of the year. So break out of the winter blues and spring into fun at Games and Things Annual Spring Clearance Sale at the corner of Kingston Pike and Lovell Road. Games and Things, because life should be fun. This Friday morning, Eric and Brian take the Eric Ain Show out to Rusty Wallace Honda at the intersection of Selection, I-75 and Callahan Drive. Stop by Rusty Wallace Honda, meet the guys, and get a great deal on a new or used car with the Sports Animal. Since 1978, Chansey and Reynolds has serviced all HVAC brands, and they feature York equipment for new installations. They're the big dog of heating and cooling because maintaining your home's comfort is what they do. If you need service or repair on your HVAC, they can do that. If your heating and air unit needs to be replaced, they can do that. If your ducts need cleaning, they do that too. Chansey and Reynolds, your York dealer. 865-525-5076 or ChanseyReynolds.com. The big dog of heating and cooling. Is reviewing life insurance on your to-do list? Now's the perfect time to add it. A friend recently told me that securing life insurance sooner rather than later can help you lock in lower rates for years to come. So I bumped this up on my list and got it done. I called Select Quote and couldn't believe how easy and affordable life insurance is. I'm 40 and got a $500,000 policy for $16 a month. My husband's also 40 and his $500,000 policy was only $18 a month. Plus, with Select Quote's same day coverage, there was no medical exam required, and we were covered by the time we hung up. Knowing I have this checked off my list feels amazing, but the peace of mind knowing my family is protected feels even better. Call Select Quote at 1 800 670 5151. That's 1 800 670 5151. Or go to SelectQuote.com to get your free quote today. 1 800 670 5151. Details on example rate at selectquote.com. The 25th annual Philip Fulmer Golf Classic presented by Waste Connections will be on Friday, April the 19th at Avalon Country Club. Hi, I'm Philip Fulmer. All proceeds benefit the Boys and Girls Clubs of the Tennessee Valley. This year's auction has some fantastic items. To place your bids, visit fulmerauction.com starting April the 15th. Give the gift of a great future by participating in the online auction. Visit FulmerAuction.com for more information. Johnson, I've been hearing about this internet thing. Anything to it? Yeah, boss. We had Cumulus Digital design and run our website. Will an internet help our sales? Already has. Plus, Cumulus Digital helps us rank high on search engines. Whoa, one thing at a time, Johnson. CumulusDigital.com All fact, no fluff. Honest, credible sports information from two guys that know the facts. Here's Josh and Swain on The Sports Animal.
Back on Josh and Swain, thank you for being with us. Next to VFL, former Tennessee wide receiver Jason Swain. I'm Josh Ward, and we are excited this segment to welcome to the show Austin Price of VolQuest.com. You can find him on Twitter, at Austin Priceless. He's covering Tennessee football and Tennessee football recruiting. Austin, we appreciate the time. As always, do we have takeaways from Saturday's action or what you learned over the last few weeks, hearing about what was happening behind the scenes on the practice field with Tennessee's football team? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I think the biggest takeaways for me are, you know, the fact that, you know, Tennessee is a pretty healthy football team leaving spring. They're a more athletic football team than they were a year ago at the skill positions, both in the secondary and at wide receiver. Um, you know, and, and there's a great unknown at the tailback's position as we head into, uh, you know, the summer months. So, um, you know, very few questions. Um about this football team. There are a couple, but, uh, you know, on the whole, I think this is a football team that is mature, talented, and uh, has everything right in front of them as they head to the summer. You mentioned the unknown at running back. How does Tennessee address that? Do they address it with what they have and develop the guys that might have a bigger opportunity than expected because of Cameron Seldon's injury? Do they continue to look at the portal? What do you think about the running back position now? That's a great question, Josh. Um, you know, I mean, I think that – I think they've at least, you know, looked into some running backs that are in the portal, but I'm not sure that they've decided they're going to go after one. Um, I know there was a report last night that the Martinez kid from Oregon State was going to visit, but he wasn't. Like, you know, that, that never got that far. And I think the kid was, you know, trying to use, you know, Tennessee's history of being a big player in NIL to kind of drive up his price. Um, that, you know, he since now said he's not visiting after saying he was uh, last night. Um, you know, again, I think that, you know, if they could find the right combination of, you know, someone they could help isn't going to command a ton in NIL, then they would definitely go that route. Um, but, like, you know, it's not that Tennessee's unwilling to spend. They just view – I think they they view certain positions with a greater importance when it comes to NIL than – than, you know, the running back spot, you know, I mean, so I mean, like, and like, you know, you're not going to bring somebody in, you know, that's, you know, going to rock the boat with Dylan Sampson too much, because I mean, he's one of your key leaders on your football team. So I mean, you know, again, I, I think that if they could find the right piece, they would probably look at bringing somebody. But I, at this point, I would lean to them not bringing anybody. What position that maybe Tennessee would look into the portal and add, would be worth using NIL to, to get that type of player? You know, I, we talked about this a little bit earlier today on the ball quest. I mean, at this point, like, I, I don't see that. I just don't think they'll be a big player for anything. Like, you know, listen, if they lost, let's say, let's just play general. I don't know I'm predicting or previewing anything for anybody that knows I like to kind of hit at things. I'm not right here. But, like, let's say they lost a safety. I think they would go out and replace that person with another safety. Okay. But I don't think they're going to get a safety. Does that make sense? So, like, yeah. I think if it's one for one. Um, so, like, right now, there's nobody that I can go, yeah, that, that Tennessee's definitely going to look to fill that spot. Like, you know, could they look to add another offensive lineman to compete for the left guard spot? Yes, but, like, I'm not sure they want to go that route either. I mean, they've got 20 offensive linemen on the roster, which is a, once you get all the guys in here like Bennett Warren, you normally are sitting around 17. Like, so they have a lot of bodies. So, like, you know, at some point you got to coach them up and develop and get those guys to the field. Austin Price of VolQuest.com is with us. Tennessee did see Elijah Herring – uh, decide to enter the transfer portal. Thoughts on that news and the effect on the linebacker position as they have Keenan Peely back from injury. Some other young players I know they like at linebacker as well. Yeah, he, he's announced his intentions to enter. Um, as of right now, I do not believe he's entered, entered. And, um, you know, that's all about, you know, getting your paperwork turned in. Then Tennessee has 48 hours to uh, put the kid in the portal, which gives every team like Tennessee a chance to, talk the kid into staying. So we'll see. Um, you know, I don't think it's a lock that he's gone, gone. Even if he does end up in the portal, I think that there's a chance that he could end up back here. Um, 
you know, I know Coach Ian just worked him really hard the last 48 hours. Um, you know, he, he talked about it a little bit back in the winter window um, and then chose to stick around. He had, you know, surgery, missed spring. And I think they were probably, I won't say like surprise, surprise, but at the same time, like, you know, I, I don't believe they thought he was going to leave. Um, and so, like, that they've kind of worked to try to keep him. And we'll see if, uh, if, if Tennessee can kind of, you know, reel him back in and he'll be a part of this football team. Again, I don't think it's a, a lock uh, at this point that he's for sure gone, gone. Why would uh, Herring decide to leave if he does, and what is Tennessee's pitch, do you think, to keep him at Tennessee? Well, it all boils down it ain't money. It, it, it simply boils down to, you know, playing. And he played a lot last year, but that, a lot of that was predicated – I mean, he was going to play last year, but, like, uh, the, the amount of snaps he played last year was predicated on the injury to Peely, mm-hmm. the injury to Aaron Carter. You know I mean? Like, Tennessee was, you know, fairly thin at linebacker last year, and even the players they had behind him, like T. Lander and even Carter before he got hurt, were fre- true freshmen. And so, you know, I think it just boils down to playing time. And I think the pitch is, hey, look, you know, maybe you're not going to play 70 snaps, but you're not going to go back to playing 15 either. There's a happy medium there. Like, do you, do you really want to, you? We would rather have you that for the best version of yourself for 35 to 40 snaps than a gassed Elijah Herring in the fourth quarter playing 70. And you got to think about, you know, put what you put on tape. Is, is, is a great 35 to 40 on tape better than, you know, 70 where you get tired? You know, I mean, like, so I mean, I think the, the pitch is like, you know, let's, 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 Build upon what you did last year, and and put you in the best position to be successful. And uh, obviously, his brother's here. I don't don't believe his brother will go anywhere. Uh, you know, especially for this season. Um, you know, and that's kind of where I'm at with all these kids. Is I think you just have to kind of stay in the moment for this this one season. Like, because a lot can change, good and bad, for all programs. You know, in in the course of uh, you know one off season. David Sanders, the five-star, highly rated tackle, was in attendance along with his mom and his and his dad. Kind of where do you feel like Tennessee stands with him? You know, I feel like Tennessee is positioned as well as they could be, Jason. Um, you know, a lot of people have got like, like Clemson for him. I currently like Tennessee, as we said here, you know, on was it April 17th or whatever it is. Um I just feel like Tennessee has done a tremendous job there. I think he jives really, really well with Glenn Ellerby. Um, obviously, the Tennessee commits have done a nice job of working on him. Um, it's close enough to home where mom and dad could come and attend practice, and that's something that Josh Heifel allows. Not all schools allow that. Um, you know, and, and I think that you know Tennessee is very much deep in play with David Sanders. Again, it's April 17th. He's going to take his official visits. This thing could change a few different times between now and when he announces sometime in the summer. But, you know, as of right now, it feels like Tennessee has done a really, really good job and has put themselves in position to land David Sanders. Austin, any other prospects coming out of the last week, maybe two weeks, where you think things are more interesting or anything stands out on what you've heard prospects checking out Tennessee on campus with where things are with their recruitment? Yeah, I think Tennessee is, you know, they went from being kind of a fringe team for Derek Meadows, the wide receiver from Bishop Gorman, to being a team I think it's firmly in play. We'll get an official visit this summer, wide receiver out of Las Vegas, same high school as, uh, as Cedric Tillman. Uh, he, he's been coached by former ball Marcus Nash. Um, you know, so I, uh, they've done a nice job there. I, you know, I think Tennessee's done a really nice job with Radarius Jackson, who – Shoot, probably even early this week, I thought was more in the infancy of his recruitment. But the more I've kind of dug into things, the more it feels like, you know, the rubber's going to meet the road, you know, sooner than, than I thought. Um, and I think Tennessee's done a really nice job there. Um, you know, they, 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 I think, done a really nice job with a guy like Charles House, a defensive lineman from over in Charlotte, who was here this past weekend. So, I mean, I think Tennessee is uh, really having a nice cycle uh you know again you got to still get them in the boat you know last year they were in position with a few kids and then 
things kind of flipped on them. They, they've still got to they've got to keep the pedal down with some of these kids. But you know, I, I think that you know, as, as of right now, we stay here in the middle part of April. It, it feels like Tennessee has has done a really nice job uh, with this 2025 class, not only led by the staff but led by George McIntyre. Hey, Austin, um, a quick question at linebacker. So we'll see what happens with Elijah Herring. Went through some other names. We had somebody yesterday bring up Edwin Spillman. What have you heard about him, how things went through spring practice, well thought of in-state linebacker in this 2024 class? You mean Willie Mays Hayes? I mean, like, he pretty much just, like, walked straight out there in his pajamas and started practicing having been <laughs> in school. I mean, like, I mean, it, you know, and for the older people, they'll understand what Willie Mays Hayes is, and for the younger people, they probably won't. But, you know, he, he wasn't here for all of winter conditioning and came straight from Lipscomb and started spring practice, you know, second week of March. And, man, I mean, just tells you how smart of a kid he is. He picked up things really fast. Physically, he's always been gifted. Um, but he's pushing, you know. And, I mean, like, I don't know how much he plays this fall. I bet he plays a lot on special teams. And, and obviously, he'll be a part of the, you know, the deep rotation at linebacker. But, you know, if I'm some of those older linebackers, you got to be paying attention to – what is now number 47. I'm not sure he'll be that when we get to, to practice in the fall, but looks like a young Tyrone Hines out there running around. That's another one the older balls so. will get. Jason Swain has no clue who Tyrone Hines is. Yeah, man. That's, that's Tyrone. Who, who don't know Tyrone? Major League, 30, <laughs> we're at 35 years old now? My goodness. Yeah, he's 35. Yeah, Spillman's somebody to be excited about, and I love the Willie Mays Hayes reference, by the way, just to set the record straight, Austin. Uh, with baseball in mind, I'll throw you a quick curveball before we let you go. Over under one and a half wins for Tennessee at Kentucky this weekend. You know, that place has been a house of horrors for the balls. You know, um, it, they, it's not going to be super cold up there. What, like two years ago when they played up there, and it was awful. Um you know what? Do it. I'm gonna go. Like, I'm gonna go two. Do I'm it. Go over. Yes. There you go, AP. Okay. You saw those bombs last night to a Kentucky team. Gonna do it again to another Kentucky team this weekend. Grand Slam City. Tennessee's gonna try to take it up north to Lexington this weekend. So Austin Price can cover you on more than just football and football recruiting. He loves the over unders, and he's going over. On Tennessee, one and a half wins. A series win is his prediction in Lexington. Big top five matchup between Tennessee and Kentucky in baseball. VolQuest.com, they'll have you covered with baseball, what's happening there. Basketball, we had a good conversation yesterday with uh, Grant Ramey. He and Rob Lewis keeping up with that. And, of course, everything happening with football and football recruiting. A lot of action right now in season and out of it. Austin, we appreciate the time as always. Thanks so much, and we'll talk to you again soon. I'm also going over on Google Google participation by Jason Swain on Willie Mays Hayes and Tyrone Hines. There I know Willie Mays Hayes. Hayes. Swain just keeps a, a running chat GPT thread during it's the so show, reliable. especially after uh, last week it had him playing for the Utah Blaze and celebrating his 41st birthday just last month. So Yeah, man, Internet's always reliable. Yep, it's keeping up with Swain uh, right down to the T. Austin, thank you again. We appreciate it, and we'll talk to you again soon. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Thanks, Austin. Austin Price, VolQuest.com. I like AP's tone in the last minute. Felt that was directed toward you? Yep, yep. I feel attacked. Didn't like way, it. Charles House, great defensive lineman name. 6'3", 290. Yeah. You can't, you can't beat that name as a, as a football player, especially up front. Gotta, gotta love it. Yeah, I feel attacked, man. We have to talk to Austin about that. That's not gonna fly. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Well, D- David the, Sanders. The nation season with you guys and uh, Chris Lowe came to an end this past Sunday, right? Correct. Yep, yep, yep. That was the last episode until this fall. So Austin's mixing things up here in the off season. I guess of so. The nation. Man. I guess so. It's 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 supposed to be a slow time between now and the start of football. But we got Tennessee baseball, so I guess that's why Austin's trying to mix it up a little bit. Told him I'd throw him a curveball baseball reference. I get it, Josh. He hit it, though, like 
Lake Burke yeah, yeah, last made, night. Yeah, made contact on that one. Crushed it. That's what that's what AP does though. Nice, nice mention about the Oregon State running back transfer. Not coming. So much information, man, and changes like all this stuff is because of money, right? Yes. You got this player that wants to come to Tennessee. Tennessee's like, eh, we, we know you're good, but eh, we, we, we can't do it. Actually, that, there's a point there. Let's hit on that when we come back. Something to keep in mind with college sports moving forward. 865-656-9900 as we move forward. 90 minutes to go on Josh and Swain. Your odds to win 99.1, the sports animal's biggest prizes just got better. We now draw one member of our email club, The Jungle, as an instant finalist in contests with a grand prize value over $500. Club members get links to our latest blogs and videos, plus a layout of sports animal programming and the biggest sporting events of the weekend. To make sure you receive our weekly sports animal emails, visit our website at 991thesportsanimal.com and sign up for The Jungle Email Club. The great thing about sports is it never stops. Here's another 60-second sports minute on the Sports Animal. Tennessee baseball defeated Bellarmine 20-5 to last night after hitting six home runs at Lindsey Nelson Stadium. The Vols have won seven straight games and head to Lexington for a three-game SEC series against number three Kentucky starting on Friday. In the NBA play-in tournament, the Lakers held off the Pelicans 110-106. to Los Angeles wraps up the number seven seed in the West. The Kings defeated the Warriors 118-96. 94 Warriors miss out on the postseason. Kings will face the Pelicans for the number eight seed on Friday. Tonight, the Heat face the 76ers in the Eastern Conference play-in game at 7 o'clock for the 7-8 matchup. In the 9-10 game at 9-30, the Bulls will host the Hawks. The Tennessee Smokies continue their current homestead against the Montgomery Biscuits at Smoky Stadium tonight. The Smokies looking to build off their 6-5 win over Montgomery last night. First pitch is at 7 o'clock. Four games in the NHL at 7. Maple Leafs visit the Lightning. Penguins take on the Islanders at 9.30. Stars host the Blues. Oilers take on the Coyotes at 10. I'm Joel Silverberg. Hey, it's Josh. I want to tell you about Ted Russell Ford and Ted Russell Lincoln. At Ted Russell Ford right now, you can take advantage of savings and low interest rates with the spring and the summer sales event. You can find low interest rates on brand new 2023 and 2024 vehicles. I'm looking at low rates right now on brand new 23 and 24 Ford Explorers. If you're in the market for an SUV, check out the different options they have and how they can help you save right now on a Ford Explorer at Ted Russell Ford. If you're in the market for an electric vehicle, Ted Russell Ford is the Model E elite dealer to check out right here in East Tennessee from the F-150 Lightning to the Mustang Mach-E to the Ford E-Transit. If you are interested in an electric vehicle, find out more from Ted Russell Ford. Parkside Drive and Kingston Pike. You can shop at either location as well as with the brand new Lincoln Vitrine from Ted Russell Lincoln on Kingston Pike. Parkside Drive, Kingston Pike, and online at tedrussellford.net. This has been a big announcement. You know, it sounds good right about now. Mouth-watering wings with an order of big fries. Mmm. It's time to get some wings. And not just any wings. The wings that changed it all. Big Kahuna Wings Happy Hour is back, and it's not just a clever name. You'll be beyond happy with our drink specials from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. all week at our Farragut location. Big Kahuna Wings. Change your taste buds forever. When you want a brand new kitchen, there's nothing to it. There's a brand new way to do it. Three-day kitchen and bath. Marcia talks about her experience with three-day kitchen and bath. Hi, my name's Marcia, and I had a great experience with three-day kitchen and bath. Um, my sister, who lives in Logan, had them do her kitchen, and after I saw the quality, I realized it was exactly what I wanted. I guess one of the things I really liked is that when I came back, I just couldn't believe how it just it totally changed, and everything was all cleaned up, and it looked it looked so great. All my neighbors want to come over and see it. I had a lot of unique features that I wanted as far as the, the fixtures go, and Dave was able to find those things, and that made all the difference. It was a great experience, and I'm, I'm glad I did it, and I would recommend it to anyone. It's about time. Three days or less. At Three Day Kitchen and Bath. 
Summer is almost here, and Saturday, April 20th, first time ever, a limited number of lake lots are being released. Two acre wooded lots from 79.9. Lake lots with covered boat slips from 64.9. Lake cottage package only 349.9. Pickleball, pools, on site coffee shop, marina, hiking trails, and much more. Call for your private tour. Appointments are limited. Celebrate lake life and make memories. Limited property release Saturday, April 20th. Call 865 408 9992 or better yet, visit lakelivingtn.com. Memories start here. They say that good fences make good neighbors. And when it comes to your privacy, Loudoun County Fence is the fencing company East Tennesseans have trusted for over 50 years. Your fence should be durable and stylish. Visit their website at lcfence.com and view all of their great options, from wood privacy to ornamental aluminum fencing. Loudoun County Fence is a family-owned and operated company with over 50 years of experience installing quality fencing in and around Knoxville. They're fully licensed and insured, and their workmanship is guaranteed. For your free estimate, visit lcfence.com. You run a great local business. Unfortunately, it's buried on page 15 when people search for your service online. Thankfully, there's Cumulus Boost. Cumulus Boost helps your business increase your online presence. Don't get overshadowed by large corporations when your neighbors need your business the most. You work too hard to go unnoticed. Get a boost with Cumulus Boost today at cumulusboost.com. That's C-U-M-U-L-U-S boost.com. This report is sponsored by Positive Coaching Alliance. Got issues with youth or high school sports? Positive Coaching Alliance can help. PCA, a national nonprofit, offers more than 1,000 free online resources for youth and high school sports coaches, parents, students, and administrators. Visit PCADevZone.org. Scattered rain and storms look to continue as we head into the afternoon hours. We got highs into the mid-70s today. It's a little bit breezy. Could see gusts up to about 30 miles per hour. We'll drop back to the lower 60s, dry out overnight, back into the 80s with more sunshine for your Thursday. From the WVLT First Alert Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Paige Noel. Yesterday's transistor radio is today's cell phone, but the signal is now worldwide. Stream us everywhere. 99.1 The Sports Animal. This is Coach Josh Heifel. You're listening to Josh and Swain on 99.1 The Sports Animal. This is Josh and Swain. Thank you for being with us. We'd love for you to follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, at Josh and Swain. Find us on YouTube as well, the Sports Animal YouTube channel, where we are live right now. We'll be at Fraser's Carpet One tomorrow from 12 until 3 on Western Avenue. We invite you to join us right now at 865-656-9900. And, Swain, the conversation last segment about Damian Martinez having a reported list of schools that he will visit. There was a date next to Tennessee's name, and then Austin Price noting last segment, no, that wasn't really ever going to happen. He's not actually going to visit Tennessee. My thought is prepare yourself, you being all of us, for more junk, more BS to be floated around because just like in pro sports when we see free agency and we see draft time right now for the NFL or in the NBA coming up in a, a few months, you have agents involved. This is not a knock on agents. They're, they're doing their job in trying to help their client as best as they can. But you're going to get misleading or just factually inaccurate information that gets tossed around. And that's going to happen, I would imagine, with recruiting and more likely the transfer portal. When players are looking for options, they're looking for ways to get as much money as possible and find some leverage. So that's going to happen in college sports, too. When there's a lot of money on the line, man, people start acting funny. People do funny things for money. And in the last couple of months, like we saw a former five-star player who is already at the portal or in the portal. He went to another SEC team. But before he went to the SEC team, he had Tennessee as one of his top five schools. Tennessee had not talked to him in forever. He committed to Tennessee when he was like eighth grade, when Pru was here, but had no intention on coming to Tennessee. Only reason he had Tennessee in his top five because 
there were reports out there about Nico's deal. And it was this perception that Tennessee was out here just giving away big bags to anyone and everyone. So teams, excuse me, players, high school recruits were like, hey, I want to go to Tennessee. I I can get a big old bag. I can get a big bag. They're just giving it out. No, they're they're investing in a quarterback. They're willing to invest a lot in a quarterback and build around that quarterback, not you. (laughs) And so I think that's an example of some of the craziness that we have seen and will see because there's a lot of money at stake. There's a lot of money at stake for the players and their families because you got to think about how many players are sending home a lot of that money to their families to get bills paid, to take care of maybe putting food on the table, a mortgage or whatever. Like They're sending home money. Then you have agents who this is how they make their livelihood. This is how they make their careers, their money is to get their client as much as possible. So they're driving up the price. So all this stuff is happening because of money. And you just have to embrace it and not react too quickly when you hear some some news. Because it can change in five minutes. If I put my name in the portal, I'd probably list a Tennessee or Texas A&M on my list of schools. Ole Miss. Sure. Ohio State, definitely. Lane on Twitter, by the way. He knows what he's doing. What do, what do you do now? I think one of the girls is his daughter, but you know Juice Kiffin, the dog? Yep. He posts a video of Juice come to the sip or whatever, and then it's like eight sorority girls. Ah. Lane. Lane's going back to the well, huh? <laughs> but uh, they're looking for a running back. They're in Oxford. So, sure, you hear about NIL opportunities there. Lane Kiffin saying transfer to the SIP. Sure, why not? Put Ole Miss in your top five. Why not? Whatever you got to do to drive up the price. I mean, current players on our team that will throw out sub-tweets and things like that, and that helps drive up the price. That helps get a better, better number. So, people are doing whatever – they need to do to get more money. And those are just some of the tactics that we have uh, identified and laid out. It's like um, Saturday, the orange-white game. A lot of people on the sideline, they kind of hung around Jason Swain, hoping to be in the same photo. Like, how is that? Mm, I don't know about that. You know Swain? No. They're, you know Trey Smith was up, here. That's their cred, their popularity. Josh Dobbs and That's who I'm James. talking about. I think Trey Smith was like, man, if I go stand next, I know I got some rings. And yeah, there's a two-time Super Bowl champion. I, uh, he's doing all right. He's fine. Yep. He, don't, he, don't need, he don't need me. Actually, now I've just exposed my own tactic. Is that Josh Ward trying to stand next to Trey Smith? That's, what, that's, that's you. Are they on air? Swain wouldn't stand next to him outside 12 till 3. That's what you do. Yep. That's okay, though. They never wrote a little photo bomb. They ain't never hurt anybody. When the camera comes out, Josh, get on out of here. We're trying to take a picture. We'll come back, 865-656-9900. If you would like to join the conversation, the football chatter, the college basketball transfer portal watch continues. We'll continue on Josh and Swain. I have diabetes. I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. I have asthma. I'm at risk, too. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine, a Pfizer vaccine that can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. 
Siri, Siri, on my phone, which dealership's got it going on? Here's what I found. Ted, 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 Ted Russell Nissan on Kingston Pike in Knoxville. Has got it going on. And what a large inventory. 100 Rogues, 50 Ultimates, 30 Centrals, 15 Frontiers. And like Siri says, we're right here on Kingston Pike. QC Kinetics announces the arrival of National Medical Director Dr. Mitchell Scheinkup, an acclaimed orthopedic surgeon with two decades of experience and extensive research in regenerative medicine. But I was one of the first orthopedic surgeons to do it, and at the same time, I integrated integrated clinical research that's resulted in several publications that are really directing the future of regenerative medicine. I was drawn to QC Kinetics after I reviewed their protocols and everything they were doing is consistent with my own approach. Today, Dr. Scheinkup leads the entire team of medical professionals at QC Kinetics, taking this exciting medical breakthrough to a whole new level. What we are doing at QC Kinetics is transforming lives. Get lasting joint pain relief. Call QC Kinetics now for your free consultation. This is the future of medicine. Call QC Kinetics, 865-238-4799. That's 865-238-4799. 865-238-4799. It's time to spring into fun at Games and Things Annual Spring Clearance Sale. If you've ever thought about adding a pool table, home theater seating, or that special something to your game room, you do not want to miss this sale. Shuffleboard, air hockey, table tennis, video arcade games, and over 100 styles of kitchen and bar stools at the best prices of the year. So break out of the winter blues and spring into fun at Games and Things Annual Spring Clearance Sale at the corner of Kingston Pike and Lovell Road. Games and Things, because life should be fun. Join Josh and Swain live this Friday at Avalon Golf and Country Club for the Philip Fulmer Golf Classic, benefiting the boys and girls clubs of the Tennessee Valley. Sponsored by Waste Connections of Tennessee. Visit FulmerAuction.com to view the auction items up for grabs. And now the Marketing Minute. If you're a business owner, has your competitor drawn a digital geofence around your location? Don't know what I'm talking about? Well, that could be a problem for you. Did you know that 30% of the world's population is using location-based marketing services? And your competitor could be using your lack of knowledge on this topic to target you. How does it work? Well, it's a little scary, and it has to do with cell phones and location services. A customer walks into your business and walks out, and their cell phone records that they visited your location. Now they open their favorite app, say to check the weather, and ads suddenly appear on their phone, not from you, but from your competitor. A virtual advertising fence had been drawn around your business. It's time for you to contact Cumulus Digital. Learn about our C-Suite digital products and learn more about geofencing before your competitors do. Go to CumulusDigital.com. We're Cumulus Media, delivering the best in radio and internet advertising. From the Budweiser Studios of The Sports Animal. We are 99.1, the sports animal. Back on Josh and Swain, final segment of hour number two. We'll begin the third hour talking college football with Braden Gall of 440 Sports. We began the show, Swain, talking about Tennessee's offense, how it might be viewed by some, hmm. but also the results that it has produced. There was a tweet from Josh Norris that had come out last night that he posted it, looking at Jalen Wright running against a light box. Yeah, I saw him running past... Future Philadelphia Eagle defense last fall in Neyland Stadium. The Georgia Bulldogs. Yeah, that's what I saw. Opening play. Outrunning everybody. That's what I saw. The tweet uh, described Tennessee's offense as a Mickey Mouse offense, which you took offense to. It's different. It's a different offense. And if You are NFL scout. There are some positions, like wide receiver, that you're going to really have to dig in and see if that, if that guy's game translate. There are other positions on the field that you don't really have to do a lot of work to see any differently than a normal or different offense, if you want to call it Josh Heupel's abnormal, but a different offense. 
to see if the game translates. Running back is the easiest position in Josh Heifel's offense to tell, oh, yeah, he can play at this level. It's the easiest position. Does he get yards after contact? Does he make guys miss? Does he have really good vision? Does he have speed? Can he catch? If he does those things, he has a chance to play at the next level. I don't care if it's a triple option offense. I don't care if it's a uh, fast tempo offense. I don't care if it's a pro style where you huddle up every single play. It doesn't matter. Running back is, should be the easiest position to evaluate. Easiest. The other thing that's odd to me, while Jalen is getting really nice reviews as a pro prospect, the, the pushback confuses me a little bit there because it's not like anybody's saying, well, he's Adrian Peterson. Nobody's saying he's Christian McCaffrey. He's projected as a, a second or third round guy, which is, I think, very. it's a position where you're knocked down a, a little bit unless you're like a top ten guy. Teams are probably willing to wait because of running back. But I think where he is, he's in that third to fourth running back range, maybe second to third round, most likely in the NFL draft. At his size, 210 pounds, his speed, 438, 40, just overall elite athleticism. And then everything that you talked about, his on-field attributes, I think he's in the range where he should be. He's a pretty easy player to talk about. He's one of the least controversial prospects, I would think, in the draft. He he's barely not talks. Being, he's not being graded out. Yeah, the, he doesn't talk. Yeah, he doesn't want to talk. He just wants to play football. <laughs> yeah. So I did not foresee this kind of discourse with Jalen Wright coming out eight days before the draft. But well, this, nine days from now, Jalen is most likely going to know which NFL team he will play for. Day two of the NFL draft is where he's expected to go. This happens every year. It's going to happen next year with Josh Heupel's offense. Oh, boy. You just you just wait that Nico comes out. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. People are going to be insufferable. They're going to be so annoying. I'm sorry, but I'm willing to make this statement. I'm pretty sure Nico's game could fit with any offense in America. Because he does a couple things really well that would work any offense. Number one, he's accurate in the pocket. Number two, he's accurate outside the pocket. Number three, he can make all the throws in and out the pocket. He's mobile. He's smart. No matter what offense you're in, Josh, you can play quarterback and be successful if you have all those traits about you. So surely I'm, just tired, he, I'm just tired of folks being simple, man. I, uh-huh. that's, that's, I'm just tired of being, people being simpletons on this on this topic, well, being with that, lazy. But that skill set, hopefully, Nico can then run a Mickey Mouse offense. <clears throat> and that's where really Josh Norris got himself in trouble online, was the description of the offense as Mickey Mouse. Mm-mm-mm. I think folks... It's the Josh Vince we get in the text box. What do you think about that? Josh Vince? Yeah, Josh Heupel. You take offense to that? No, I'm not Josh, so I'm not going to take offense to that nickname. Okay. We'll let Heupel say if he likes it or or not. You proposed earlier that people should have to take a test to be named or keep the name Josh. Yeah, because of this take by... This Josh. Just one Josh. A lot of good Joshes out there. He's made it tough Heifel, on other good Joshes. Dobbs. On and off the field, Josh Allen of the Buffalo Bills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is terrific. A lot of good Joshes. He's made, he made tough for a lot of Joshes out there. A test should be required now to, to be named Josh. And if, you, if your name is Josh and you have a bad sports take like that, then you should have to have to go by your middle name. You can no longer go by your first name. You have to now go by your middle name. So if you have an embarrassing middle name. Should have studied up. Yep. Somebody who took tests at the University of Tennessee, just like Josh, just like Jason, Braden Golf, 440 Sports, UT alum. He joins us to begin our number three of Josh and Swain.
Summer is almost here, and Saturday, April 20th, first time ever, a limited number of lake lots are being released. Two-acre wooded lots from 79.9. Lake lots with covered boat slips from 64.9. Lake cottage package only 349.9. Pickleball, pools, on-site coffee shop, marina, hiking trails, and much more. Call for your private tour. Appointments are limited. Celebrate lake life and make memories. Limited property release Saturday, April 20th. Call 865-408-9992, or better yet, visit LakeLivingTN.com. Memories start. Here, Vol Baseball is back on 99.1 The Sports Animal. And Ted Russell Ford want to give you a chance to win a porch for you and your crew to watch a Vols game this season. Check out 991 thesportsanimalcom and get signed up. And you could be cheering on the Vols from the outfield while enjoying this unique fan experience with you and your friends. So batter up, good luck, and go Vols. From Ted Russell Ford in 99.1 The Sports Animal. You're either in or you're out. And some things need to be kept in. And some things need to be kept out. Whether it's for safety, curb appeal, or privacy, Cantrell Fence Company separates the in from the out. Aluminum, wood, vinyl, or chain link, we can meet your needs. Let us help you keep what's important in and the rest out. Get your instant estimate today at CantrellFence.com. Do you have stuff that you need gone? Then give a buzz to Junk Be Gone. Created right here in Knoxville, Junk Be Gone has been the number one junk removal company in East Tennessee for the past 16 years. Full service junk removal, 15 yard driveway dumpsters, document shredding, and demolition. They can remove above ground pools, pool tables, hot tubs, swing sets, fences, pianos, home and office furniture, even televisions, and the kitchen sink. Give them a buzz at 865-675-5865 or on the web at junkbegone.biz Join Josh and Swain this Thursday live at Frazier's Carpet One on Western Avenue and celebrate huge savings. Carpet, hardwood, ceramic, and more. Call today for a free in-home estimate. Frazier's, 546-4850. Vol Baseball is back on 99.1 The Sports Animal. And Ted Russell Ford want to give you a chance to win a porch for you and your crew to watch a Vols game this season. Check out 991 thesportsanimalcom and get signed up. And you could be cheering on the Vols from the outfield while enjoying this unique fan experience with you and your friends. So batter up, good luck, and go Vols. From Ted Russell Ford in 99.1 The Sports Animal. I remember when I was a little boy and every day we had fresh milk delivered by our friend Fred. You see, Fred was our milkman and he always had a smile on his face. He went about his business with joy and he served his customers well. He would deliver our milk ice cold in those glass bottles and right to our doorstep. It seems like that good old fashioned joyful service is a thing of the past these days. Well, not here at the bed store. We believe that when you choose to buy your mattress from us, that we should make your entire experience a great one. When we deliver your bed, we literally roll out a red carpet to make sure that we show your home the utmost respect and we put little mints on your new pillows. We go over, above, and beyond because you deserve that kind of old-fashioned tuck-you-in service. Right now at the bed store, you can get well tucked into any Tempur-Pedic mattress and get up to $300 in free sleep accessories and we'll deliver that Tempur-Pedic locally for free. Come see us at any one of our eight convenient area locations locations today or shop with us at bedstore.com the bed store while well, we'll even tuck you in at ingles we know the ever-present struggle of what am i going to make for dinner this week that's why we started the ingles table it's all waiting for you at ingles-markets.com ingles low prices love the savings this is wnml am knoxville wnml fm friendsville screening worldwide on the sports animal app and website 99.1 the sports animal.com 99.1 the sports animal the station where the balls play this is jim rome of the sports minute sponsored by verizon hey lake show you got exactly what you wanted you got your number seven seed you got your rematch with the defending champs and man, are you all feeling yourselves right now. But nobody more than Laker head coach, Darvin Ham. When asked if maybe it would have been a better idea to lose last night's playing game, the Ham was not having any of that. I'm Jim Rome. Is switching your wireless service to Total by Verizon easy? Totalmente. And you get unlimited 5G data? $25 a line for four lines on the unlimited plan? at an amazing price with no contracts. 
Should you switch to Total by Verizon? Definitely. Uh, I mean... Totalmente. Find a store or switch suavemente at totalbyverizon.com. Monthly rate when you activate without a pay, plus taxes and fees. Discount begins the month after you enroll. Additional terms apply. See website for data management practices. Shop our best savings for spring during Spring Fest at Lowe's. Get up to 35% off, plus save an extra $150 on every $1,500 you spend on select major appliances. And save on premium two cubic foot mulch. Get five bags for just $10. Because Lowe's knows spring, Lowe's knows home improvement. Valid to 417. Appliance savings vary based on purchase amount. Exclusions apply. See Lowe's.com for more details. Premium mulch offer excludes Alaska and Hawaii. Selection varies by location while supplies last. Start your fitness journey with no long-term contracts. In month to month memberships at Fort Sanders Health and Fitness Center. Back to begin hour number three of Josh and Swain. Thanks for being with us. One hour to go on 99.1, the sports animal and AM 640, the sports monster in the Tri Cities area. Thanks for hanging out with us wherever, however you are doing so today. We head to the mid state to welcome to the show Braden Gall from 440 Sports to begin this third and final hour. Braden, we appreciate the time as always. Do you find more interest in what you were hearing about, seeing in some cases with spring football or? the opening of the transfer portal window here in the last couple of days, which has brought more interest to you in the college football conversation. Uh, who's, who's Swain's picking to win the U.S. Open, maybe, um, is my third answer. Uh, the, the, the brag fest you, you that took place because he, <laughs> he took Scotty the winner Scheffler on Monday. Uh, winners so win. Winners win. Why would you not take and pick a winner? I don't understand why y'all took anybody I else. I still claim I deserve more credit for picking oh, Oberg, who finished second. Right, uh, you hear I, this? I think you do. I think you do. Uh, think Are y'all serious? You want credit yeah. for being second? 33 uh, to 1. I, I think if you pick Max Verstappen to win an F1 race, you don't get any credit. There you go. I don't think so. Uh, no. I <laughs> Look, I think I, what I learned talking to some folks around the SEC that cover practice is that uh, I think we talked about this. I think you learn more about who's not going to be involved in your program rather than who is sort of rising Spring practice used to be about so-and-so freshman looks really good. So-and-so transfer looks really good. So-and-so's getting reps with the one. They're, they're moving up the depth chart. They're going to make an impact at fall camp. Can't wait to see player X, Y, or Z. And I think what's happening now is that you're just sort of like, oh, it's clear this guy's not involved in the rotation, and therefore maybe, to your second part of the question, looking at the portal. Like, I, I don't know how many big names are going to make moves in this window, so I am interested in that. But, you know, Damian Martinez, for example, going to Kentucky, I think is a big win for them. They need some stability in the backfield on offense in general at Kentucky. And I think Damian Martinez from Oregon State, one of the best players in the country that nobody talks about. So I think a big power, a big power back with a quarterback who also might want to run a little power option with a coordinator who also likes running a little power option as well. I think it's a really interesting dynamic at Kentucky's offense. But other, like, I, I don't think it's, it's hard to keep track of stuff and, and you don't really know what you – what you're seeing at a spring practice is real or not. Um, so I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I think the portal might be more interesting if you get some names like Damian Martinez in the portal. I, I don't know how many of those types of names we're going to get. Yeah. We get some of the do not contact tags like Caden Proctor yeah. leaving yeah. Iowa to presumably go back to Alabama. Take, take the bag. Um, which, by the way, every single human being I've ever met uh, takes the bag. Uh, I don't think I know a person in, in, in college athletics or outside that doesn't do it. So I don't know why we'd give these kids a hard time for doing it. Um, I, I do think what's interesting, and we've talked about this, and, I, and I'm feeling vindicated in our conversations, is the more and more I talk to folks, the more and more this collectively bargained revenue sharing agreement is looking closer and closer and closer than, than we think. Uh, I was just talking, we just did SEC Football Live, of course, uh, on the 440 Sports Network YouTube page. Go check it out. I sat down with Kyle Tucker, who covers Kentucky basketball, but he also has a ton of insight into how the athletics department works. And 
football is what they have to care about at Kentucky because if they want to be above the fold, when the quote unquote apocalypse happens, and we uh, like they need to be focused on football, not just Mark Pope and the basketball program. And so they know that the athletic directors are budgeting for collectively bargained revenue sharing agreements. Like they're but they're already budgeting for this stuff. So you can call it the apocalypse if you want to be like a, a doomsdayer. Or you could just call it, like, the modernization of college football. But I think it's coming sooner than anybody thinks. I think I've been preaching that on this show with you guys for a long time. I, I think I said 2028 is, is my last guess. I, that might be too late. It might happen It might happen so, sooner than that even. Has there been a, a name, maybe football or basketball, a name that surprised you that went to the portal? No, there's nothing that surprises me anymore with the portal. And I'll, I'm not going to lie to you guys and be like, yes, I know every single name that's in the portal or not. I, I've not been tracking it as closely as you might think. Uh, I was certainly watching golf all weekend. So I was definitely not tracking the portal over the weekend. Um, now, I think, again, Martinez is the only one that, like, hits me in a way that might – like, we're in the middle of putting our magazine together right now for Athlon Sports. Um, you can still purchase those pretty soon here, athlonsports.com. They'll be out probably first week of June, first couple of weeks of June. And we're still – going through things and like there's nothing that's come out to your question so far that's changed like where we would look at teams and even a a big time running back like I don't know if that changes much for us but certainly when you look at swing games and you start looking at all right could Kentucky beat Florida again or you know they got to host South Carolina early in the year like that's I think Kentucky's fascinating for a number of reasons but I think he's a really big get um for a team that needs playmakers replacing Ray Davis. So I, I, I don't, I, he's, there's not a name that surprises me, but again, I'm not going to lie to you and say that I've got a list of names printed out here on the wall that I'm, that I'm tracking every second. Maybe it's Kentucky, Braden Gall, 440 sports with us. Athlon. Is there a most debated sec team for 2024 in the Athlon preview discussions? Like where That's they should be, how they, how they should rank among sec teams. I, I don't think it's, it's less like, this is I'm standing on the table for this team and like somebody else is standing on the table for a different team. It's more like no one has any clue what to make of LSU. For example, like LSU is a really uh, Kentucky's another really, really difficult team. I, I think Florida is going to be better than people think. Uh, that's just a, a feeling I'm getting. Um, but otherwise, I think you've got Georgia clear cut. Number one, not a lot of debate there. Sorry, Athlon on sports to give it away. Um, and then I think there's a really heavy debate between like Bama and Texas. I don't know what the, like there's, there's a debate between like Ole Miss, Missouri, Tennessee. I think LSU is the question mark there. Like, are they in that group or not? I think Oklahoma is going to be good, but I don't think their schedule's too hard. Texas A&M is like, fool me once, shame on me, fool me two, three, four, five times, shame on me every single time. But I do think a and is going to be better this year, especially at the end of the season. Uh, Auburn should be improved. I, I think there's a lot of that, that middle tier, which is, in my opinion, Florida, Kentucky, Texas A&M, Auburn, and then maybe LSU and Oklahoma. Those are the teams that were just like, we have no clue how they're going to shake out. And there's a lot of debate in that middle tier. I think the top four or five feel pretty comfortable. And then I think Tennessee is actually the team that everyone kind of agrees is like the top of the middle tier or the bottom of the top tier. And we're not sure which one it is. But it's right around top 12, and we all know how many teams get into the playoff now. So t- not a lot of debate, honestly, around Tennessee. I think Tennessee people think pretty highly of, but they're not better than, like, Georgia or Texas or Alabama right now. This is also that time of the year where you start figuring out who's on the hot seat uh, inside the league. And so uh, there's, there's a few names out there, but if you had to kind of rank the hottest seat to the coolest seat and you had three or four spots, how would you do that with SEC coaches? Uh, Sam Pittman, number one, Billy Napier, number two, Shane Beamer, number three, and that might be it. I I do think, and again, just coming off a Kentucky conversation on our show, I, I am fascinated to see what happens with Mark Stoops. There, there is He's done more for that program than anybody else, but like, is he the guy for the future? 12-team playoff, new SEC, who knows? He also tried to leave, <laughs> like – when you try to leave and almost take a job or basically take a job and then get kind of sent back, like I, I don't know how that's going to be received or what. how do you recruit to that situation. I, I don't know. So I, 
I wouldn't be surprised if Mark Stoops decided to go somewhere at the end of the season. Iowa is his alma mater. If Kirk Ferentz retires after 412 years of mm-hmm. coaching, you know, that's a very obvious spot for him to go. Uh, I don't think – I think that's one of those where everyone's kind of like, okay. Like, Kentucky fans are like, okay. Mitch Barnhart's like, okay, I'll go hire John Summerall off Troy. Troy's uh, – or I guess he's now at Tulane, I guess. And, you know, absolutely in love with Kentucky. Younger guy. I think a pretty good coach. I think I said years ago John Summerall's going to be a coach in the SEC at some point. You know he's Swain's former high school teammate? Have we I, discussed I think, that? I, I think I've heard that. I yeah, think they're I've heard Grissom that. and Huntsville. Yeah, so I, Swain would – he would have a second team in the SEC, which I think would be lovely. <laughs> I think that – Swain, you could back me up on this. I think he would bathe in sulfuric acid for that job. So uh, I think he would take that job in two seconds. Uh, and I've, I've talked to him a few times. He doesn't hide his love for Kentucky. Um, I, I think – but Sam Pittman's number one. The other – I think he's the only real, like, true – because I think – again, I think Florida's going to be a little better. So the question is, is how restless are the natives in Gainesville? I know Scott Strickland, the athletic director, is not putting a lot of pressure on him right now because the boosters aren't putting a lot of pressure on them. We'll see how the second half of that season plays out. Florida's schedule is very difficult in the second half. I do think South Car- Shane Beamer has earned himself a lot of equity with his first two seasons. Last year was disappointing, a, th- a second disappointing season. I don't think he gets fired. I don't think he's on the hot seat per se. But if you're asking me to rank him, I might put him there just because I think there's a chance it could it could implode. But otherwise, I, I mean, like, who, who else? Like, the, the, the does best Clark team... Lee need to do anything at Vanderbilt? Does that matter? I, so that's the other question. Like, I'm. I was going to mention him, but I think because the change in the athletic department and their commitment to football, like the stadium being rebuilt and like all of a sudden they've got NIL money and like they, they, they were, I, I don't know. Like it was, they were such in, they were in the stone ages for so long that I think there's not really a, a, a pressure there. If he were to go, you know, Oh, and eight again, and which is possible. They've got a very tough schedule. Welcome. Welcome Vanderbilt. Uh, you got to play Texas and Alabama. Um, it, it's stuff every year. Yeah, it's that. Then maybe next year we can have this conversation. I, I just don't think it's in Vanderbilt's best interest to be to be pressing on this stuff. I think I think they need to take their time with it, and I think they're trying to go about it the right way. I mean, it's the SEC. Eventually, you need to have results. So uh, I think it's Sam Pittman number one, and that's about it. It doesn't mean that he's the only coaching change though in the conference. I think that's mm-hmm. the key to watch. Coach Calipari, when he was at Kentucky, said that Kentucky was a basketball school, and no one argued that, even though football was having better results. Um, now he's at Arkansas. What is Arkansas? Uh, Fayetteville's a, 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 an underrated town in the SEC uh, with a lot of money. Uh, I, I, look, you can win a national championship at Arkansas in basketball. Is it a football school it. or basketball school? Or baseball I, school? I would call it a baseball school. <laughs> <laughs> No, I think, you know, football, it's, it's hard. When you can go 75, 80,000 strong at a stadium, if you're winning, it's hard to argue. I think there are some challenges to, to football that make it very difficult to win. Uh, again, like, it costs you $200, $250 million a year to run a really high-level football program. It costs you, like, 10 or 15 to run a great baseball program. Vanderbilt learned this a long time ago and said, oh, we're going to spend all that money on a double super-secret pitching you know facility under the stadium that no one knows about and tim corbin's been churning out major league players since 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 then you can kind of choose what to invest in and basketball is kind of in the middle yeah uh basketball you you can invest 40 50 60 million dollars into a basketball program and win at a very high level and while i do not believe coach calipari is an elite basketball coach he is an he's he's going to recruit and you're going to have good players does that work in the current college basketball landscape i i don't know I think you're seeing teams that are more veteran laden uh, find success. I mean, he's going to have a good basketball team. Like they're going to win games. How many games? I don't know. Maybe not enough for Kentucky, but probably enough for Arkansas. So I, they're a good athlete. They're an underrated. How about this? To your question, they're an underrated fan base with an underrated athletic department that's pretty good at a lot of things. But I'm not sure they're great at any one thing. Braden Gall, you're always great. What's going on at 440 Sports for people to check out? And uh, work continues to get ready for the college football season at Athlon as well, as you mentioned. So the gentleman who was down there, I believe in the Bahamas, when Coach Cal said all of that stuff, oh, we're a basketball school. Uh, Kyle Tucker was the reporter from The Athletic that he said that to. He's, he joined me this past week, or I guess this afternoon. Uh, our show recently just ended. You can check that out, uh, SEC Football Live. But we, we spent a little bit of time on Mark Pope and basketball, but mostly I wanted to understand 
the dynamics at play at Kentucky, the athletic department, Mitch Barnhart, their relationship with football and basketball. And it's a fascinating tension at Kentucky because they know they need football to survive, but basketball is what they really love. So uh, it's, it's a fascinating situation in, in Lexington. So long conversation about Kentucky athletics if you want to join us there. SEC Football Live on the YouTube page, 440 Sports, and, of course, everywhere you get your podcast. The gold standard covering your Nashville Predators who are in the postseason and all the other great shows across the, the format and the platform that cover the Tennessee Titans as well. So come on by, hang out. we got a lot of stuff going on for you. 440 Sports, search for it, subscribe to it. Braden, we appreciate the time as always. Thanks so much, and we'll talk to you again soon. Always a pleasure, boys. Braden Gall joining us at Braden Gall on Twitter. Always good stuff. Yeah. Always good conversation. What Braden said about taking a certain amount of money and investing into a program to win, that's a kind of the conversation we had when we talked about Kim Caldwell taking over for uh, the Lady Ball program and how it costs less to flip a roster than maybe football. So, Kim Caldwell's trying to do that right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really good point by Brayden. We continue the conversation. Thank you for being with us. You can join us. Call or text in. Text box is open at 865-656-9900. This is Josh and Swain. Your odds to win 99.1, the sports animal's biggest prizes just got better. We now draw one member of our email club, The Jungle, as an instant finalist in contests with a grand prize value over $500. Club members get links to our latest blogs and videos, plus a layout of sports animal programming and the biggest sporting events of the weekend. To make sure you receive our weekly sports animal emails, visit our website at 991thesportsanimal.com and sign up for The Jungle Email Club. Fellas, Low T Center is the place for you. If you've, been, if you've been feeling different, tired, grumpy, you've noticed a lack of motivation and drive, maybe some weight gain or loss of muscle mass. If you do, we got to get those levels checked. And Low T Center is a place for you, like I just mentioned. It's not your typical doctor's office. It is country years medicine for men. Their physicians specialize in treating low testosterone. They've been doing this for years with most health insurance accepted. They have affordable and convenient treatment options for you, including my favorite, physician-monitored self-inject treatments that ship right to your home each month, making it easy and convenient, saving you a trip to the center for those weekly visits. Right now at Low T Center, it's just $25 to get your T-level tested. Make your health and quality of life a priority. Go to the website, LowTCenter.com today to book your appointment online. That's LowTCenter.com. This has been a big announcement. His Security and Technology, your one-stop shop for all your security and technology needs. We offer state-of-the-art security systems to protect your home or business, as well as cutting-edge technology solutions to enhance your daily life. Our team of experts is dedicated to providing top quality service and support. Contact His Security Technology today to learn more about how we can help you stay protected and connected. 865-474-9495 or visit hissecurity.com. In God we trust all others we monitor. Keith Pavel Heating and Cooling, family owned and operated, serving Knoxville and the surrounding area since 1989. Honest, reliable services with a focus on customer satisfaction. Call them today, 865-483-9223 or online, keithpavelhvac.com. This Friday morning, Eric and Brian take the Eric Ain Show out to Rusty Wallace Honda at the intersection of Selection, I-75 in Callahan Drive. Stop by Rusty Wallace Honda, meet the guys, and get a great deal on a new or used car with the Sports Animal. Come experience Array, the newest and most exciting variety show in Pigeon Forge. Array features the area's most talented singers, musicians, and dancers performing hit songs from all genres of music. Hilarious comedy that will have you laughing to your sides hurt. And unbelievable specialty acts will keep you mesmerized and entertained throughout the entire performance. On the Parkway in Pigeon Forge, Array has something for everyone. Call 865-245-4FUN today to make your reservations or go to mountainofentertainmenttheater.com. Save the fees and save money. Get your ticket to the show. That is the new talk of the town throughout the Smokies. Now for half price at only $25. Located across from the Titanic and Wonderworks in Pigeon Forge, Array has wonders you'll have to see to believe. Sweet deals are your chance to experience some of the finest restaurants and attractions East Tennessee has to offer at unbeatable prices. This Friday morning at 9, visit 991thesportsanimal.com for this week's sweet deal. For a sweet deal to the new mountain of entertainment theater in Pigeon Forge. 
It's time to spring into fun at Games and Things Annual Spring Clearance Sale. If you've ever thought about adding a pool table, home theater seating, or that special something to your game room, you do not want to miss this sale. Shuffleboard, air hockey, table tennis, video arcade games, and over 100 styles of kitchen and bar stools at the best prices of the year. So break out of the winter blues and spring into fun at Games and Things Annual Spring Clearance Sale at the corner of Kingston Pike and Lovell Road. Games and Things, because life should be fun. Tyler Rivens from the Afternoon Show. Let me tell you about my new fence I just got from Tennessee Home. If you came to my house in West Knoxville, I have a beautiful house, but the backyard fence looked like something out of a horror movie. Splits, leaning, skunks, possum, any creature was coming in and out of my backyard. I had to get somebody who was a licensed professional who could come in and give me the privacy that I sorely need. James Anthony checked all the boxes. Give him a ring this afternoon. 865-304-0955. Or you can book online. That's at TennesseeHome.us. When you want to get away from all the daily noise, escape to the Sports Animals stream on our app, smart speaker, or online. Text STREAM to 656-9900 for a listing of ways you can stream us. Josh and Sway on 99.1 The Sports Animal. Once again, voted one of the top 25 sports midday shows in America by Barrett Sports Media. You can't hide talent. You can only hope to contain it. This is Josh and Swain. Thanks for being with us. Next to VFL, former Tennessee wide receiver Jason Swain. I'm Josh Ward. 865-656-9900 if you would like to join us. Appreciate Braden Gall joining us last segment. Austin Price joining us last hour to talk Tennessee football. A lot of Tennessee and SEC football conversation this afternoon. Swain, every day we hand out attaboys and attagirls thanks to Native Design with the Native Nursery. NativeTN.com is the website. One-stop shop for contractors, landscapers looking for plants, trees, and landscaping materials. And if you're looking for Tennessee fans, you will likely find them at a Tennessee sporting event. Sounds obvious, but then you add up the numbers, and it's as big as it gets when it comes to the big sports. Yeah, 100%, man. Add a boy, add a girl to the Tennessee fans that uh, showed up to women's basketball, men's basketball, and football. Vols placed first place in combined attendance. Uh, we even give a little bit of thank you to those opposing fans. I guess they count too, right? Those They're a part numbers. of the numbers. A total of 1 million, 1.1 million uh, people who attended the Volunteers 38 home events in those three sports. That figure put Tennessee over 96,000 above second place LSU, which had 44 home events. So uh, the only school that topped 1 million was South Carolina, which had 41 home events. So Tennessee fans showing up, showing out. Had a boy, had a girl to Tennessee fans. How, how did LSU factor in? Um, they have 44 home events, and Tennessee uh, had 96,000 more than LSU, even though LSU had more events. Gotcha. You're going to send a text to Matt Moscona down there in Baton Rouge? Well, I was on the show yesterday. Um, How'd that go? Did you you keep it cordial? He started it. He started it. He started mentioning the the World Series. He started mentioning other games. And I had to remind him what happened this past weekend at Lindsey Nelson Stadium. I did the interview actually right outside Lindsey Nelson Stadium as I was walking in the game uh, yesterday with with my two girls. But he started it. I had to finish it. So, and let me ask you a question. All I heard was this Mortal Kombat voice, finish him. Okay. So I had to do it, man. He started it, though. I'm telling you, man, I did not start it. So don't even try to correct, point the finger at me. Correct me if I'm wrong, but yes. I think you have described yourself as grown. He started it, Josh. <laughs> Is that something a grown person would say? He started it. What did you ask me? What was your question? Huh? I asked you if you kept it cordial. 
and I said <laughs> he started it, which means I had every right to keep it cordial. I thought I did a pretty good job. He brought up some of the mishaps for Tennessee versus LSU. He brought up old stuff. He did. I did, too, just more recent, <laughs> but it's still old. Less old. It's less old. Newer. And he, he knows, man, that, that, that Paul Skeens feller strikes a nerve. Sensitive subject. Yeah, still. I mean, because we was right there. We was right there. So, he can do that because, you know, we have a good time. He's awesome. That's what the SEC is about. But I was, I was on the show yesterday. Well, feel free to. It, dude, I can't share this with him. He'll laugh in my face. <laughs> Really? Really, Swain? This is what you got? Yeah, I wouldn't you, say You have more like fans <laughs> to, the, to the games? This is what we're bragging about now? <laughs> He'll send you a screenshot of some banners back. Yeah, so I'm, I not would, gonna, I'm not going to share this with him. I would keep the attaboys and attagirls are deserved for the Tennessee fans, but we'll keep the conversation with the Tennessee fans. Yeah, don't, like, don't send that link to like, I kinda an wanna, LSU like, fan. Screenshot this and like highlight yeah. the one part where it says Tennessee – had 96,000 more fans than second place LSU, which had 44 home events, mm -hmm. which, what's that, six more home events in Tennessee? Yeah. Just to see him laugh in my face. Just to see his reply. He started it. He did start it. You leave me alone. Okay. Well, you finished it on behalf of Tennessee. So. I don't know if I finished it, honestly. You least... kind of got to win something. You tabled the discussion. You tabled the discussion. So, attaboy to you and a more sincere attaboy and attagirl to all the Tennessee fans involved piling up the numbers at the Tennessee events this year. We hand out attaboys and attagirls every day thanks to Native Design. They've opened the Native Nursery for contractors and landscapers. It's your one-stop shop for plants, trees, and landscaping materials. That includes boulders, flagstone, mulch, and more. NativeTN.com is the website located at 3473 Louisville Road, just five minutes from Pellissippi, off the Topside Road exit. Call 865-310-3256. And again, nativetn.com is the website for native design with the native nursery. We'll see with LSU football. That was the, uh, not debated, but team that's kind of tossed around in different conversations in the SEC for this upcoming year. They have to replace a Heisman Trophy winner. They have Nussmeyer coming back. They have talent on the roster. They have to replace Malik Neighbors as well, who's a projected top ten pick. Was a terrific wide receiver, deserving of the Blitnikoff Award, whether he won it or not. And that defense has to improve from a year ago. Oh, that defense is bad. Plus expectations remain at a very high level at all times for LSU football. Well, anytime, so you're paying, we'll see that. anytime you're paying a coach a lot of money, the expectations are always going to be high. Yeah. So – that kind of comes with the territory. I mean, you look at women's basketball. They've won championship. <sighs> Baseball won championship. So, at the end of the day, they are a football school. And they went out and got Brian Kelly and allowed him to pay his uh, coordinators a lot of money. And one of those coordinators was absolutely terrible this past year. And they let him go. And now they have to pay him buyout money. So, there's always expectations and, and pressure uh, on, on Brian Kelly and, the good thing about those expectations is he has the opportunity to meet them because he can recruit right side, right inside that state. And he has, I want to say, funds to go out and get players, whether it's NIL or not. Yeah, LSU finds a way. They do. I give them credit. I got no shade towards LSU, nothing but hat tips. They get it done. Last time Tennessee was down there at Tiger Stadium, that, that still worked out. Oh, yeah, I, I reminded him a matter of that. I reminded, uh, you know, he asked about a spring preview. Mm -hmm. So I was going through the spring preview, mentioned how, you know, Dylan Sampson, number one running back for Tennessee. Where's he from? Louisiana. I said, I don't know how y'all let him out of Louisiana, man. What was y'all thinking? So I threw that in there. Again, Matt started it, so that yeah, was sure. one of the things I said. LSU this year opens the season – in Las Vegas against USC. So Lincoln Riley against Brian Kelly week one. Nickel State at South Carolina. UCLA and Baton Rouge. So they play USC and UCLA both in the first month of the season. That'd South Alabama, that'll be a win. Week off, and then they'll host Lane Kiffin and Ole Miss. That'd be fun. Arkansas in Fayetteville. 
Texas A&M at College Station, week off, host Alabama, Florida in Gainesville, Vanderbilt at home, and then Oklahoma to close out the season. That ain't bad. That's quite a, that's quite a schedule. That ain't bad. USC don't and to, UCLA non-conference. Well, don't have to play um, Caleb Williams and USC. First time coach over there at UCLA and Foster. Yep. You have um, South Carolina. You have a Florida team that they'll be beat up and bruised by the time you play them. I mean, very, very favorable. Oklahoma Bama's instead at home. of Texas. Bama's at home. Yeah, Oklahoma instead of Texas. So, yeah, Bama and Oklahoma both at home. A and M first year coach. Yeah, we'll see what they can do. We'll set up for them. We'll come back eight six five six five six ninety nine hundred. The latest with Tennessee's running back position. Speaking of Dylan Sampson and company, that when we come back, thirty minutes to go on Josh and Swain. Your station for the Tennessee Volunteers. 99.1, the sports animal. The great thing about sports is it never stops. Here's another 60-second sports minute on the sports animal. Tennessee baseball defeated Bellarmine 20-5 last night after hitting six home runs at Lindsey Nelson Stadium. The Vols have won seven straight games and head to Lexington for a three-game SEC series against number three Kentucky starting on Friday. In the NBA play-in tournament, the Lakers held off the Pelicans 110-106. to Los Angeles wraps up the number seven seed in the West. The Kings defeated the Warriors 118-94. to Warriors miss out on the postseason. Kings will face the Pelicans for the number eight seed on Friday. Tonight, the Heat face the 76ers in the Eastern Conference play-in game at 7 o'clock for the 7-8 matchup. In the 9-10 game at 9-30, the Bulls will host the Hawks. The Tennessee Smokies continue their current homestead against the Montgomery Biscuits at Smokies Stadium tonight. The Smokies looking to build off their 6-5 win over Montgomery last night. First pitch is at 7 o'clock. Four games in the NHL at 7. Maple Leafs visit the Lightning. Penguins take on the Islanders at 9-30. Stars host the Blues. Oilers take on the Coyotes at 10. I'm Joel Silverberg. Hey, it's Josh. I want to tell you about Fort Sanders Health and Fitness Center. We have a family membership at Fort Sanders. That gives us access to complimentary child care. comes included with family membership. We utilize the child care access from time to time. We also take advantage of the indoor pool that is open year-round. Our kids love to swim at the indoor pool, and the outdoor pool will open soon as spring is here. We're getting ready for the rest of spring and the summer months. We love during the summer to take the kids to the outdoor pool at Fort Sanders Health and Fitness Center. They have everything you're looking for from the gym with all the weight equipment and cardio equipment that you need. They have an indoor track that's wonderful. You have access to racquetball courts, indoor tennis, uh, outdoor pickleball as well at Fort Sanders Health and Fitness Center. And when you sign up, it's month to month. No long-term contracts when you sign up at Fort Sanders Health and Fitness Center. About 85 group fitness classes every single week. Take advantage of everything they have to offer. Stop by, check it out for yourself. Kingston Pike at Pellissippi Parkway. Tell them the sports animal sent you to Fort Sanders Health and Fitness Center. This has been a big announcement. Join Josh and Swain this Thursday live at Frazier's Carpet One on Western Avenue and celebrate huge savings. Carpet, hardwood, ceramic, and more. Call today for a free in-home estimate. Frazier's, 546-4850. Vol Baseball is back on 99.1, the sports animal. And Ted Russell Ford want to give you a chance to win a porch for you and your crew to watch a Vols game this season. Check out 991 thesportsanimalcom and get signed up. And you could be cheering on the Vols from the outfield while enjoying this unique fan experience with you and your friends. So batter up, good luck, and go Vols. From Ted Russell Ford in 99.1 The Sports Animal. Hi, this is John with Pro Source Home Buyers, and I buy houses cash. If you have a house and you want to sell it fast at a fair price, call me, 865-500-3711. I pay cash and close as quickly as you'd like. I buy houses in any condition, any price range, in any location. I buy several houses per month, and I want to buy more. I buy inherited houses, divorced houses, behind-in-payment houses. I even buy my tenant won't pay me the rent houses. Do you own a house that is in rough shape and needs thousands of dollars in repairs? Great, because I love buying these houses. I buy vacant houses, abandoned houses, condemned houses and even foreclosed houses. If you own a house and you want to sell it fast, call me at 
800-3711. That's 865-500-3711. That's 865-500-3711. I remember when I was a little boy and every day we had fresh milk delivered by our friend Fred. You see, Fred was our milkman and he always had a smile on his face. He went about his business with joy and he served his customers well. He would deliver our milk ice cold in those glass bottles and right to our doorstep. It seems like that good old fashioned joyful service is a thing of the past these days. Well, not here at the bed store. We believe that when you choose to buy your mattress from us, that we should make your entire experience a great one. When we deliver your bed, we literally roll out a red carpet to make sure that we show your home the utmost respect and we put little mints on your new pillows. We go over, above, and beyond because you deserve that kind of old-fashioned tuck-you-in service. Right now at the bed store, you can get well tucked into any tempur mattress and get up to $300 in free sleep accessories. And we'll deliver that tempur locally for free. Come see us at any one of our eight convenient area locations today or shop with us at bedstore.com. The Bed Store, while we'll even tuck you in. Johnson, I've been reading about this geofencing. Know anything about it? Yeah, boss. We use geofencing through Cumulus Digital to help drive our sales. How does it work? We pick precise locations, and whenever a customer enters that location, they see our ads. That's what I thought. CumulusDigital.com This report is sponsored by Positive Coaching Alliance. Got issues with youth or high school sports? Positive Coaching Alliance can help. PCA, a national nonprofit, offers more than a thousand free online resources for youth and high school sports coaches, parents, students, and administrators. Visit PCADevZone.org. Highs are expected to be into the mid 70s. It's breezy because it gusts up to about 20 to 30 miles per hour throughout the day. We'll continue to track scattered downpours and storms as we head into the afternoon hours as well. We'll start to dry out a little bit later tonight, dropping into about the lower 60s. More sunshine heading into your Thursday. From the WVLT First Alert Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Paige Noel. Fair, honest sports conversation from two guys that define credibility. Here's Josh and Swain on the Sports Animal. Back on Josh and Swain. Thanks for being with us at Josh and Swain on social media. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Josh and Swain. Check out joshandswain.com to subscribe to the free newsletter we send out every Friday morning, once a week into your inbox. No spam, joshandswain.com to sign up. 865-656-9900 to join us in the second hour of the show. Austin Price joined us. From VolQuest, we talked transfer portal, said um, it's not done with Elijah Herring. He could still remain at Tennessee. He obviously could leave. There's been the talk of him entering the transfer portal. But as of the time that Austin was on, his name was not in the database yet. And Tennessee is making a push for him to say. So that's something to pay attention to. And then the talk at running back has been there for a few weeks since Cameron Seldon's injury during spring and the unknown with when he'll be able to return. Will Tennessee go after a running back? Well, the portal has opened now for the spring window. Austin gave his updated thoughts there, where things might stand with Tennessee considering running backs and potentially pursuing help at that position. I think they've at least looked into some running backs that are in the portal, but I'm not sure that they've decided they're going to go after one. Um, I know there was a report last night that the Martinez kid from Oregon State was going to visit, but he wasn't. That never got that far and I think the kid was you know trying to use you know Tennessee's history of being a big player in NIL to kind of drive up his price um that you know he since now said he's not visiting after saying he was uh, last night again I think that if they could find the right combination of someone they could help isn't going to command a ton in NIL then they would definitely go that route it's not that Tennessee's unwilling to spend they just view I think they they view certain positions with a greater importance when it comes to NIL than than the running back spot. You know, I mean, so I mean, like, and like, you know, you're not going to bring somebody in, you know, that's you know going to rock the boat with Dylan Sampson too much because I mean he's one of your key leaders on your football team. So I mean, you know, again, I, I think that if they could find the right piece, they would probably look at bringing somebody. But I, at this point, I would lean to them not bringing anybody. So we'll see what happens. We'll see if Tennessee does add a player. But right now, Austin Price's lean would be toward 
the running backs that Tennessee has now being the running backs Tennessee will rely on in August and September. We had it, sorry, we had it pointed out to us uh, during that conversation earlier. Somebody messaged in, if Dylan Sampson gets hurt, we've got a problem, and I would agree with that. A huge problem. Um, and it's not about him being big, strong. I mean, he can, he can get turf toe. He can pull a hamstring. Um, he can take a hit and have a concussion. I mean, running back is a tough, tough position to play and be healthy for the entire season. That's why you want two, three guys to be able to rotate in and, and keep keep fresh. I mean, Dylan Sampson is, is RB1. So, does a running back who's RB1 where they're from expect to be RB1 here? Well, I, I don't know if Tennessee's ready to move off of Dylan Sampson being the number one guy. So that's the first thing. Second thing is, all right, Dylan Sampson's – Probably at a number. You can't pay any running back a dollar more than Dylan Sampson. So there's multiple layers here that if you're Tennessee, you are weighing and making sure, all right, we got to be really careful about who we bring in. You got to have the right type of person if you decide to go that route. So we'll see what happens. There can be other players that enter the portal. It's still, what, day two-ish of – the window opening so a couple weeks to go for players to be able to put their name in and the conversation now is different than december you can't have an sec running back enter the portal and come up no. so that that does limit the the field of players that can be available correct that's all right i mean it ain't like tennessee's playing ohio state first game of the season so if you can win your first two or three games while allowing your your young running backs to heal and be 100 percent and then have them for the tough stretch of the schedule they may that might be the best course of action jerry tax uh, texts in so they are worried about hurting samson's feelings that's a lot of power they're giving him no it ain't about hurting feelings you just have to to be careful because I think there's a way to do business because this is business, right? It's business. It is business. It's one thing to replace Selden who's hurt. It's one thing to replace Lewis who's hurt. It's one thing the middle of spring to go, all right, Dylan Sampson, we are replacing you. It's one thing to have a, a guy come in who is RB one A A B and be like Jabari Small and Jalen Wright was two years ago. Where it just didn't really matter. But those guys started here together. It's different than bringing in some guy in the middle of April and saying, Hey, we're gonna pay you more than the guy that's been here and we know what he brings to the table and he's our leader. Remember last year we had a whole conversation, many conversations about how this team needed more leadership and more guys stepping forward. And the Missouri game was a game that Dylan Sampson rallied the troops and tried. He tried to rally the troops and get guys going offensively. And now you see with videos like – He's a, he's a junior. That's his room. He is a vocal leader. Probably one of the best ones on offense, if not the best one on offense. So you, you just have to handle this the right way. It ain't about, oh, well, you just you're afraid to hurt Dylan Sampson's feelings. Like, that's it's, it, this is complex. Like that, I think that's a really small way of looking at it. It's, it's not like that. We'll see what happens. At running back, but Dylan Sampson's RB1, RB2, up for grabs right now in the room. Maybe it's Peyton Lewis. We haven't seen him yet, but he, he does have speed, does have talent. Maybe it's Khalifa Keith. I, I, I haven't heard anything about Khalifa Keith being one of those one or two guys, but he can prove people wrong. He'll have the opportunity. 
Bishop, I think, has a better opportunity than okay. Keith. Bishop is the other one. That's yep. in the list right now. Yep. But you got 24 hours in a day. You yep. got seven days a week. You got opportunity. There's a, a it's time, now here. There's, there's, oh, gosh. There's a time that players are going to have off to go home and rest. There'll be players that choose not to do that. They'll say, you know what, I'm going to continue to work the same way. If I was on campus, maybe I'm not leaving campus. Like, this is this is my time to go. So, we'll, we'll see who has the upper hand, who's put in the work, and who, who hasn't. We'll come back for one more segment here. Power poll to close things out. We'll get you to Tyler and Will at three as we return here for one more segment on Josh and Swain. You know, it sounds good right about now. Mouth-watering wings with an order of big fries. Mmm. It's time to get some wings. And not just any wings. The wings that changed it all. Big Kahuna Wings Happy Hour is back, and it's not just a clever name. You'll be beyond happy with our drink specials from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. all week at our Farragut location. Big Kahuna Wings. Change your taste buds forever. The A.G. Hines Company, a fourth-generation family business backed by more than 100 years of customer service serving all East Tennessee. That's a century's worth of knowledge in material application. Concrete, masonry, waterproofing, stucco eaves, slate roofing, and manufactured stone veneer. They have you covered with name brands like Nudura, Drive It, and spec mix. No job is too big or too small. They have the expertise to assist in all your residential or commercial construction needs. The A.G. Hines Company, building materials since anyone can remember. Join John and Vince this Friday morning at Oak Ridge Nissan at the corner of Illinois Avenue and the Turnpike in Oak Ridge. Make that short 10-minute drive from anywhere to Oak Ridge Nissan and save thousands this Friday morning from 6 till 9 at Oak Ridge Nissan with John and Vince in 99.1 The Sports Animal. Golf season is here, and an eagle awaits you at Sevierville Golf Club. The very best golf in the beautiful Smoky Mountains is ready for you. Two 18-hole championship courses with breathtaking views, unique layouts, and pristine enough to be named the best-maintained public golf course in all of Tennessee. All of this makes for a round of golf you won't soon forget. So challenge your game with all the elements of rolling hills, water, sand, and quick greens. Visit SeviervilleGolfClub.com to book your tee time or to learn more about memberships. Sevierville Golf Club, an eagle awaits you. Summer is around the corner, and one day only, Saturday, April 20th, first time ever, a limited number of lake lots are being released to the public. Experience resort living at a fraction of the price. Lake lots with boat slips from $64.9. Two-acre wooded estate lots from just $79.9. Lake cottage package with boat slip only $349.9. Private golf cart access to a new marina. Ten miles of walking trails. Three and a half miles of shoreline. Brand new 25,000 square foot clubhouse. Summer waterfront concerts. Pickleball. Pool on-site coffee shop, and much more. Play on the lake or relax at the Waterfront Restaurant. Just over 20 minutes from Knoxville and a short drive to the Smoky Mountains. Financing available. Call to secure your private tour. Times are limited. Enjoy life on the water. Fresh air, boat rides, and sunshine. Celebrate the lake life. Limited property release Saturday, April 20th. Call 865-408-9992 or better yet, visit lakelivingtn.com. Memories start here. Come Experience Array, the newest and most exciting variety show in Pigeon Forge. Array features the area's most talented singers, musicians, and dancers performing hit songs from all genres of music. Hilarious comedy that will have you laughing to your sides hurt. And unbelievable specialty acts will keep you mesmerized and entertained throughout the entire performance. On the Parkway in Pigeon Forge, Array has something for everyone. Call 865-245-4FUN today to make your reservations or go to mountainofentertainmenttheater.com. Save the fees and save money. Get your ticket to the show that is the new talk of the town throughout the Smokies. Now for half price at only $25. Located across from the Titanic and Wonderworks in Pigeon Forge, Array has wonders you'll have to see to believe. Sweet deals are your chance to experience some of the finest restaurants and attractions East Tennessee has to offer at unbeatable prices. This Friday morning at 9, visit 991thesportsanimal.com for this week's sweet deal. For a sweet deal to the new mountain of entertainment theater in Pigeon Forge. 
Sponsored by Progressive Insurance. Progressive makes bundling easy and affordable. Get a multi-policy discount by combining your motorcycle, RV, boat, ATV, and more. All your protection in one place. Bundle and save at Progressive.com. Four out of five sports fans listen to Tennessee football talk on the sports animal stream. The fifth is an Alabama fan, and he can't listen to anything since the batteries died at his transistor radio in 1981. From the Budweiser Studios of the Sports Animal, we are 99.1, the Sports Animal. Back for the final segment of Josh and Swain. We appreciate you being with us today, and we'll look forward to being back tomorrow at 12 o'clock at Frazier's Carpet One. We'll be out there on Western Avenue. We'll have a lot to talk about. Swain will hopefully be talking about the Bulls' advancement in the second play-in game tonight to battle for the eighth seed in the Eastern Conference playoff. Two more play-in games to go. Heat versus the Sixers and Hawks-Bulls. Tonight, no Zion in the eight seed battle in the West. He scored 40 last night, but was injured in the fourth quarter. It's a hamstring injury. He will not play in their game against the Kings. Tough to see that. Yeah, finally, he's playing consistently. and He had a really good season. I think played a career high in either games or minutes, maybe both. Had, again, 40 last night against the Lakers and then had to exit. When his team needs him the most, man, he's unavailable. That stinks. I know know he put a lot of work in and – but that's 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 the knock on him, uh, his durability. But I don't know why, why the Bulls are wasting everybody's time with this play and stuff. Time to shock the world, baby. I wonder if they run, run that secret <laughs> secret player pass off the backboard, alley oop to themselves. Yeah, I think uh, <laughs> I think they should do that tonight. Uh, that's a good way to go home early. Uh, we started the show uh, talking about Josh Norris's tweet last night, talking about the Tennessee offense. He was looking at Jalen Wright, and ended up calling the Tennessee offense Mickey Mouse offense, which led to some thoughts from Swain at the start of the show. So I encourage you to go back and listen at the beginning. You can listen anytime going back on demand. Thanks to Beatty Chevrolet. Just search Josh and Swain, Apple, Spotify, the WNML app. So that is going to be uh, the motivation for our power poll today. Swain, we're going to do top five Joshes. Yep, yep. I got a good little list here. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm, I'm eager here. Your top five Josh's. I will not always defend Tennessee's offense. Okay. Uh, last year, there were times I didn't want to say anything about the offense because I didn't have anything nice to say. So there's a time and place for defense. Not all the time. So I just want to make sure that's clear. Number five, Josh Smith, the former Atlanta Hawk basketball player. 6'8", 6'9", crazy springs, crazy bounce, could dunk on anybody at any given time. Number four, Josh Allen, quarterback of the Buffalo Bills. Number three, Josh Dobbs, VFL. Number two, Josh Heibold. Number one, Josh J.J. Ward. Yeah! You know what? You still had to say it in a way. Hey, John Wilkinson. I was going to dig a little bit What you think about that one? What do you think about number one? I rank above Hypo on the yeah, list. Yeah, man, I work with you every day. I don't, I don't see Hypo that much. All right. I'll take it. Yeah, man, I, I spend more time with you than I do Hypo. That's up, upset of the day. Would you make the trade given the possibility? No, nah, man, I'm saying I'm staying firm to my okay. number one pick. You got my back. I got I got your back, man. All right, number one Josh back. today. That feels good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some honorable mentions. Uh, pre- <laughs> appreciate the... Help and support downstairs, Josh Cantwell, Josh McDaniel, not the uh, former Raiders coach, to be clear here. Okay. Uh, Also an honorable mention to state of Texas country music star Josh Ward, who outranks me in Google. So if you search my name, I'm way down the list. I also get tagged a lot of times on social media channels about concerts, and people think I'm coming to play at the show. One of these days I'm going to show up. Number five, I have Josh Allen. Number four, VFL and Miami Heat guard Josh Richardson. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Number three, he's been a friend of the program, Josh Pate. Oh, yeah. Mid-state. Number two, Josh Dobbs. And 
You and I have both spent a lot of time on the mic, not together, talking about some down seasons in Tennessee football. Josh Heupel changed that. Mood's been a lot better in Knoxville the last few years, so I thank Josh Heupel for that, and I put him number one on my list of Josh's. You're just trying to get an exclusive interview with Josh Heupel, huh? Open invitation to the show. Golly, man. Just a couple of Josh's sitting down. All right. Swain's two favorites. Josh and in Josh. Fact, we learned today. Josh and Josh. We also support names with Jay. Josh, Jason, Joel, Silverberg producing for us. We appreciate you, and we appreciate you hanging out with us today. Been a lot of fun the last three hours. We will try again tomorrow coming up at 12 o'clock. We'll see you then right here on Josh and Swain. When you